Ben, ba ba ben, ba 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 ben. Tom 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 tom. Welcome. Ah. Welcome, Ben. To whatever the fuck this is. What are we doing? Good news, Tom. What? We can play Warhammer again. Nice. I hope it didn't just try and update and will take a thousand years. No, no way, Tom, because I came in this morning at 10 a.m. and made sure it was installed and working with all the latest patches. Ruh row. So I'm sure there won't be any problems. Ruh row. Um. Oh no! Yeah, we have to. Uh, we're reinstalling because the update it takes longer to update than it does just to reinstall the game. Yeah, we've had to wipe it and reinstall because uh, the update is the most insane method of game updating you've ever heard of. Bonkers, baby, bonkers, bonkers. Um, so yeah, we're back. We're back in the old Warhammies. Yay! Uh, we're going to be playing Immortal Empires. Yes. Super hype. Super hot for that. I am um, excited. We're going to be doing some battles. Naming some troops. Yeah. All classic those, Tom and Ben. Those classic, classic Tom and Ben. I'm sure we'll have some new heroes mm. who, um, you know, uh, have, have some amazing heroic adventures. Looking forward to that. Very, very into it. Very cool. Uh, it's been a long time. Too long. Too long. It's been a long road uh, getting from mm, there, there to, to here. here. But my time is finally here. Uh, uh it's gonna happen. That's the one. That's what we've uh, all been waiting for. I'm trying to find a news article that we can talk about, but um, did they take it down? What about that? What about Warcry? No, I want the Squatties. Don't you get so excited when you see a new Warcry update? I, I get so indifferent. <laughs> <laughs> I just cannot explain how little I care about Warcry updates. I, I know how you feel, baby. Um, I, feel. I don't even hate it. Well, because I don't know what it is. It's it starts down. It was kind of like Conan the Miniatures game. Yeah, which is kind of weird, but kind of kind of cool. And now it's just a uh, just something I don't care about. Yeah, just don't care about it. That's okay. Don't have to care about everything. No. You can just care about the things you like. I struggle to care about anything. I know. I struggle to care about myself right now. You know. Oof. Yikes. Uh, um, am I being blind? I saw a new like Leagues of Voltan HQ unit previewed the other day, and oh, now it's not here anymore. Did the they take marine. it down? Yeah, the guy looks like a little space marine on the the Super Kragnos rock. Yeah, why doesn't he exist? Did they delete him? Has he been expunged from Imperial Records? Oh no. Um, I think I think he's been cancelled. Is it just in that wheels are better than? Maybe. No, this is just about bikes. Oh. He's been deleted. Oh. Hmm. Man, that's oh. a shame. I, I, I wanted to say some mean things about him. Oh, we can. I'm sure we can find him. Just like search for League of Votan, uh, uh, Carl. What's his name? Carl. K A Carl. Uh, close. <laughs> Do you say to delete it? Fuck. There he is. Should we start with this? Sure. I wonder why they deleted it. That's bizarre. Uh, he really needed that lift of those rocks. Wow. Do you think, how long did he spend in the battle trying to find the perfect strutting rock? Oh, yeah. To real, like, spread. <laughs> Just really get that, get that crotch Get going. that man spread on. <laughs> um, yeah. He looks basically like um, uh, Captain Gravis. Captain Gravis, he's the same. Well, have you, there's, um, I saw a funny picture which just showed every, like, Space Marine character. Mm -hmm. uh, like, you know, a lot of people have a gun and a weapon. Sure. But just that pose. And it's, <laughs> it was like 20 models. Uh, <laughs> all just doing, just, just waving their sword in the air. Like, I mean, it's a classic. I don't want to rip them too hard for that because... You know, it's, a, it's a staple, right? Yeah, you know, you don't have that much, uh, you know, choice of variety, and they can't be too dynamic in their posing because they're all in a lot of armor, mm. and so you can't really pose too too much That's further true. without looking. I mean, 
there are some interesting things you can do, like um, uh, Captain Lazarus. You know, he's striking a pose that's at least a little different from the standard fair. You know, he's surveying the battlefield rather than like mm. waving his, waggling his sword in the air. Sure. I'm not saying this is like mind blowing, but like well, it's a bit different, isn't it? You know, it's a bit different. Um, but look, even his armor looks the same as this. He's got the big collar and the yeah. segmented plates, and the backpack's very similar. I don't know. He's just a little space marine, isn't he? He's With a little beard. space marine boy. What are the other pictures they've got of him? He's got a mask on. A mask that looks smaller than his head. Yeah. He's really squeezing himself into that thing, isn't he? Maybe it's just like bronze body paint. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, maybe he got like the um, Hunger Games cake boy to like decorate his nice. face. Nice. Wow, yeah. It's been a long time since we've had Hunger Games cake boy uh, <laughs> making an appearance on the stream. Uh, it's funny how he didn't use that ability again after the, that first film. Yeah, I think because everyone <laughs> suddenly cottoned on. And they were like, okay, right, watch out, because King Boy's going to be caking around again. Yeah, I think after that Hunger Games, everyone just started licking rocks to yeah. find the one that tasted yeah, of frosting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and that's how, you, uh, that's how you find them. <laughs> so they had to ban it because people stopped watching the Hunger Games. Like, you know, it's like a TV show mm. in, the, in the films. Um, I think people stopped watching it because they were like, oh, the rock licking program. Oh, gross. No. So they banned it as a meta. Like, <laughs> yeah. okay, no one's allowed to do this because it's getting a bit too weird. <laughs> exactly. Um... <laughs> Ugh, I'm so disappointed in this fucking Space Marine boy. Just do something different. I think he's fine. I don't hate him. Uh, I don't love it either, but... I don't like his little head crest thing. I, I would get rid of all of those. If I was making this army, I'd instantly just... But I just wouldn't stick those bits on. I don't like his, like, jacket cape. I like his jacket armoured cape thing. <laughs> I think that's kind of fun. I don't like the way he's got normal trousers on underneath his power armour. Ah, no one shoots you in the feet. But not just that, but like, the whole point of power armour is it's like an exoskeleton that like powers, lifts its own weight. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he's just got real fucking good ankles. He's got fucking strong thighs because he's got no power assisted legs to carry this armour around him. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just weird. So weird. Um... He's okay. Okay. Well, you know, if you like him, that's fine. You like what you like. You know, you're not wrong. We've <laughs> really upset someone. Shut the fuck up about me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that reaction. I didn't know that would be such a such someone, a fucking someone, nerve we touched. Someone loved that character the most. <laughs> no, the cake bit was so good in the book. It was so meaningful. <laughs> I identify with Cake Boy. I also would hide with cake frosting I powers. I also use cake frosting to hide. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> he was there for four days. He definitely shit his pants. Definitely shit his pants. That's the most important thing to remember about Cake Boy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, anyway. uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a lot to say because I don't absolutely hate this model. I just think it's like not good and there's a lot of weird design choices that I don't get. I quite like their like hot axes. I do like hot axe. That's fun. Um, but yeah. I don't, right. I don't love it. Uh, what else we got? Should we, do, well, we, should we stick with them for now? Yeah, whatever. And also you want, look maybe. at the wheelie boys who are not so wheelie. Uh, um, I like this gunner. I really like that gunner. I think he looks fucking awesome in his big coat with his hood up and massive gun. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Um, I kind of wish they were all a bit like this. Either like mining themed or like biker gang themed. Or like, you know, it's got this sort of like wintry kind of... Mm. I, yeah, I just like that as an aesthetic. Um, although something I kind of hate, mm -hmm. um, just from a rules point of view. Oh, okay. Uh, and this is something that the uh, orcs are from. At the moment, I'm trying to build a orc speed, speed wire. Oh, yeah. And um, great, you get this, and you're like, mm -hmm. sweet, I'm going to put the fucking turbo mega multi-laser on it. Okay. Cool, because I want to drive around and fire that. Yeah. But also on this, it's going to have the stat line, and so you can fire your fucking strength four, 
Right. No AP pistol. Yes, yeah, so you got three like, of these, and you're gonna be like, okay, here's my pistol shots, and then here's my like front mounted stubber shots, and then here's my mega laser shots. Like front mounted stubber, great. So sure. fire all of them. Blam blam blam. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, do your big heavy gun. Great. You fire the big gun, which is one of the probably the reasons why you take this. Yeah. And you're like, oh god, well, I've got these fucking pistols. Well, fine. Three shots. Oh, they did nothing again. Just but, time wasting, isn't it? Ultimately. Like. Did they really add, like, hmm, yes, we're going to add an extra three points per model so mm -hmm. we can give them this stat line? No, like, just just ignore that. Put it on the yeah. pistol to look cool, but it's just Mechanically, needless. yeah, totally unnecessary. Mechanics and all of the orc vehicles. You're buying it for a big fucking laser or the Do they all have pistols something. as well, the drivers? They have, like, a pistol, like, one pistol shot. Or, like, a shotgun. And right. Like, why? Why bother? Like, yeah. this isn't why I'm taking it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's cool to have the orcs waving guns around. Yeah. But I'd be fine if they were just. That's part of Games Workshop's design policy, though, isn't it? Every single thing on a model has to have a rule. Um, you know, if someone's got a weird knife that looks different, like, oh, well, we've got to come up with a stat line for that. Can't just be a close combat weapon. Has to be a, you know, a stabber, yeah, mono-edged mono slicer poison knife. Yeah, filament, knife. Like, yeah. Great. Uh, which means it now has, like, AP1. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have to do some attacks with that and some attacks with these. Well, it's like when you charge with your Gene Stealer hybrids. And you're like, okay, here's my pistols, fine, whatever. Okay, now I'm going to charge you with my rending claws, the actual reason I've got them. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, well, I've got eight little stabber knives I get to do as okay, well. Do the knives? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of waste of time. Frustrating. Uh, but this is cool. I like this. I don't like the ones without the turret as much. Yeah, they're less, less fun. They just look a bit, I don't know, something about the retro. They look a lot like the Mechanicus Rock'em Suck'em robots, which I also don't like. Yeah. I think I don't like them for the same reason. Too, um, like, kind of blobby and rounded. Um, th it doesn't, like, look super 40k to me. Yeah, it's a bit too, like, 50s sci-fi. These guys. They've yeah. got very similar design style to these guys. Whereas um, the heresy versions of these robots, way cooler. Um, like this kind of thing. Or this kind of thing. I don't know what, what, I can't explain the difference, like immediately, but there's something about this design that just kind of looks like more industrial or something, or less rounded okay. than these guys. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah, those look more 40k than just the regular Than these models. guys. I think so, also they just look a bit like under detailed, like they look a bit more like toys. Yeah, a lot of smooth flat panels. So if they could do whatever they've done to this to make it look more 40k compared to these mm. guys, if they could do the same for these bikes and like grunge them up a bit, I'd be I'd be into that. Maybe shitloads of weathering is the trick. Oh, uh, that might help. But yeah, bikes they're okay. Like the one with the, the big gun is cool. The others, eh. yeah. Oh god, so some of them have got shotguns and some of them have got pistols. Amazing, great. <laughs> Just more little minor differences. Why you're <laughs> taking them? No, you're probably taking them because they all have a big like heavy stubber type thing. Oh dear. Uh, hopefully they'll do an infantry unit of these like outrider, oh, like, yeah. like scout ranger type boys rather than the, the power armor guys. I'd like that a lot. That'd be cool. Uh... Hmm. Oh, also, different gun. Oh shit, what the fuck happened to his head? Ow. He got caught in one of those, like, Razor Predator nets. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It, like, shrinks. Although, it's the same sort of design as the grip for his, like, knife. Maybe it's oh. an added grip on his head. <laughs> Wouldn't want that to slip out of your hands, Don't would you? Falling off. <laughs> oh. Man, I watched the new Predator film. I'd recommend it. It was pretty fun. I haven't seen it yet. I did did want to watch it. Um, I heard I've heard only good things about it, mm. um, which is nice because that out. I was like a uh, predator, but it's been done kind of dirty. Yeah, they've had there's been some real bad predator films over the years, just haven't there? Just not super great. I didn't even watch the predator, which I just heard was so shit. Like the reviews were so scathing, I just didn't even watch it. Is that the one with like the little kid can fly the spaceship and the the predators uh, are trying to steal the power of autism from him? Right. Yeah. Um, 
So, yeah, I didn't see that. I heard it was very bad. Um, do you see Predators? Yeah, that was okay. Where they get, uh, like... I only watched it the one time, but I did enjoy it. The, like, eight badasses from all over the world. Yeah, and, and like, Topher they, Grace is there, too. <laughs> yeah, and it's just, that was cool. It was fun, fun premise. Yeah, um, that was a good premise. And... Who is it? There's, like... Is, uh, is Adrian Lawrence Brody. Fishbourne, the Re fucking crazy guy that lives in a spaceship, the crashed yeah. spaceship, and he was there from a previous time, and he's just been hiding. Yeah, and he's just fucking insane, just bonkers. <laughs> yeah. um, kind of good, kind of fun. Mm. Man, so what else we got? Um, you can get the main rules for Kill Team for free. Nice, that's pretty cool. Check it out. Play, uh, play like some test games with just your 40k models and see what you think before you pay any money. That seems pretty cool. I don't know what it means by light rules. Does it just mean no campaign rules or does it mean not the full rules? I don't know. Oh, it's three pages. How many rules um, are the main rule book? Well, you know, it's a big book, so, you know, 5,000 pages, I think. But how many rules <laughs> are there actually in there? I don't know. I guess the core rules are like... 20, 30 pages or something. Really? Um, but it covers a lot of like, you know, these are all the line of sight examples. Here uh, are all okay, the... Okay, sure. Um, yeah, I guess this feels more like a, like a rule summary sheet. Yeah. Than a, like, I don't know if this is enough to figure out how to play it, but maybe. Anyway, I, I like the game, so this is cool. And a new um, Space Marine kill team. Which is very much needed because all the Space Marine kill teams are in the book are super boring and shit. Uh, okay, just, just like regular Space Marines. At least this one lets you try out some different equipment options and stuff. Sure. So that's cool. Shout out for that. Um, I saw some things that made me. I've got. I've got a new modeling project idea. Ooh. Uh, for a kill team. Mm -hmm. That could be used in multiple different ways. Oh, ooh. Uh, so the idea would be, I'll show you a couple of kits that I think the idea would be to kit bash together. So uh, the Orc, uh, Commandos, mm -hmm. that kill team, these guys. Yeah, they're great boom. models. I like them. Very, very cool. Um, and then uh, you have um, Gene, what's the other? Aberrants. Right, and then you mm -hmm. take so you take a bo box of these guys, yeah, and you take a box of these guys, mm -hmm. and uh, oh, you make because I saw someone made these three D gene oh, stealer cult orcs, wow, and make an orc kill team, but make them look half gene stealered, but merge these guys mm -hmm. with some orc bits and yeah. go full orc gene stealer cult that's awesome i love it uh, how would you paint them because obviously the gene stealer cult has human flesh but with like purple blue tones to men you know because it's the pale skin blending with the blue of a gene stealer yeah how would you blend the green and the blue S that has to be worked out. <laughs> uh, okay. But I think like going, um, uh, do like paler, paler orcs mm -hmm. uh, for sure. Because um, like the newer orcs, they've gone, they're a lot brighter than. Um, yeah, like, they're definitely paler than they used to be. That's uh, what like goblin skin used to be. Yeah, like e even brighter than that, like because mm. old orcs used to be real. Yeah, they were like dark, dark angels green as a base. On, on old orcs. Like, even those are a bit pale for, yeah. like, more old school orcs. Much greener. Um, they definitely put way more yellow in these days than they used to. And so I think doing, like, the kind of paler thing and, like, mm -hmm. you know, just, it doesn't matter if they look a bit, like, odd, um, mm. but paler features, gene stealer, orc heads. Um, I wonder if anyone's already done it. I bet someone has. Let's have a look. Uh, so I've been, I've been looking around a bunch, and I couldn't find too many great examples. Oh, uh, wow. That's like an old, real old one. Yeah. And oh, I, I like I'm, the four-armed orc banner. It's so <laughs> fucking good. That's um, awesome. 
because uh, that's actually like old school. There used to be rules for it back oh. in Rogue Trader days. Well, yeah, back when um, uh, Gene Steeler orcs were a thing. Mm. Um, although, not necessarily canonically, but um, recently, in not even recently, it was like 11 months ago, mm -hmm. there was a White Dwarf article about converting Gene Steeler orc hybrids. Really? Uh, wow, okay. Because yeah, I think nine times out of 10, Oh, that little orc. <laughs> that, uh, to be him. <laughs> yeah, nine times out of ten, like any infected orcs just get like beaten up by yeah. all the other orcs for not being orky enough. But I guess every now and again, like enough of them get corrupted. Like and, it does work, and it takes. But well, even thematically, mm -hmm. uh, doing them as a commando squad. Yeah, uh, because already like commandos are seen as like completely non-orky. Yeah. And they, go into battle quietly and they use tactics Ugh, gross uh which is seen very unorky but yeah. <laughs> you know the orcs are like well they kind of help sometimes so they could do well, that yeah we'll let them do it they can do their thing uh and so do you see the orc cult awesome man i want to see it that's the uh the dream so i might try and just like put together like a test a test model um like i'm getting some of those heads printed um, nice. and then we'll see See kind of how it works. Like that guy kind of doesn't look too terrible with like the green skin and hmm. stuff. But I quite like, I do quite like the very bright pink and blue Gene Stealer um, bits. Oh, the classic Gene Stealer look. Like this kind of color scheme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so it's going to be a bit of a bit of a job to like merge them. Yeah, because pink together. orcs do look weird. Yeah, not like, the... Uh, every time I see an alt model painted in, like, more natural flesh tones, it oh, it just leaves me feeling unsettled. Yeah. Yeah, they're not supposed to be uh, too <laughs> too sensible. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I might, might try and make this. Because I would like to awesome. play some uh, Kill Team. Mm. And hey. I'll show you. I will show you the way. Boom. I'm in. <laughs> There's a little dancing Gretchen. Wow, those are the Space Crusade ones. Yeah, you don't see those very often. What lovely boys. Anywho. Yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah, really cool. Um, it's like the person that makes these makes loads of... Um, they look pretty big. Like, bigger than regular orc heads. Uh, I think um, they are about the right sort of size. Okay. But then these, I guess, might, like, these might be like bigger versions of like them. Gene Steeler hybrids generally have bigger heads than humans, so uh, wouldn't be surprised. Hive Delta, I think, is their name. Um, they make an amazing Broodlord. Oh, these all look great. This Broodlord. A Cthulhu Lord. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's just a really nice super creepy like really yeah. thin Oh, that's awesome. And law-wise, it makes sense because the first gene stealer who infected the commandos would be pure gene stealer. He wouldn't be any orc in him at all. Yeah. So you could have him as like a Yungle broodlord. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's amazing. I love his spindly arms. Yeah, it's just so creepy. Yeah. Um, so I kind of think I might um, try and get one of those at some point. Yeah, that'd be ace. Oh, this guy's just beautiful stuff. Yeah, like really nice, like updated versions of like the Hormagaunts and stuff just looks so much like meaner and less doughy than the existing ones. Yeah, well the existing ones are so old now. Like, oh man, like they actually like this one running along actually looks mm. like a little raptor type thing. Yeah, you yeah. Imagine that's how they would run around. Like just the work. The work that some people do nowadays is just amazing. Yeah. Like really impressive. Yeah, 3D printing's come a long way. Um, oh, that Lictor's amazing too, crawling along. Yeah, real nice. Real good, clean, family fun. Bonk. Great. Uh, bam, back to news. Uh, well, there's a rumor engine. Um, <laughs> could be fucking anything. <laughs> war cry. It's a war cry thing. Yep. I believe it. Uh, we've got a new Necromunda thing. It's a jet bike. Boom. I love it. It's a cool model. It's got loads of different, different gun types, different pilots. It's pretty fun. It looks like you could very easily put an orc on here. Oh, yeah. And use it as like a death copter or something. 100%. Like, um, it looks super orky. 
Just, I, I think they look super rad. I really like them. Cool bit of design. It looks very 40k. Mm. Super good. Doesn't fit the law super well. I guess they've retconned the law. Because it used to be that like jet repulsion hover bike technology was like super rare and reserved only for the most elite exclusive units. Necromunda. Just common gangers. Just common gangers have it now. It's fine. You know, law, law changes. Uh, <laughs> We're going to make our peace with that one day. <laughs> I'm big. Big fan. Do they have the picture of the, the box of them? Uh, what are they called? Sky Cycles or Cutters? What's the name? Yeah, the Escher Cutter. Uh, oh, they might not have a box because they're probably Forge World. Um, I think they are coming in a box. Oh, okay. I think I saw that. Uh, but if we um, just go to uh. Here, one of the other fun things about them, mm -hmm. you've got these guys, and all you need to do <laughs> You're gonna turn them is into just them. add like a... <laughs> yeah, now this is pod racing. <laughs> and <laughs> some of these. What's that um, Space Wolf Chariot? There we go. Do you, re Whoa. Do you know the one? Instantly amazing. <laughs> yeah, 10 what a times team. better. What's his name? Logan. Logan Grimnar. Grimnar. You get Oh, um, this fucking stupid chariot. Oh. Yeah. So just swap out those derpy wolves for these. It would that'd be actually kinda of cool. <laughs> no. I'd like it more than this stupid fucking wolf thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate this model so much. It's such a stupid fucking idea. Like he, he himself looks great. That's yeah. a really cool space marine. Mm -hmm. Um and he's a guy, I don't mind being a bit too fucking wolfy. Like, he can pull Well, that yeah, off. he's king of the space wolves. Sure. Um, but being pulled by two wolves, like... <laughs> but it just it doesn't even look like they're pulling it right. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it looks like they're running in random directions <laughs> yeah. while strapped to it. Like, yeah. what is with these wires? They're so weird. I hate it. It was fucking dumb. It was <laughs> fucking super stupid. But at least he comes off. You can just have him on foot. Yeah, like the model on foot just looks so much fucking better. Mm. Agreed. Then the stupid chariot. It's like, I can't be bothered to walk you boys today, so uh, walk yourselves. <laughs> I'll just tag along behind. Ugh. Super dumb. Great. So fucking stupid. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, these are pretty cool. I like them. I like them a lot. I think yeah. they're cool. It's nice to see something totally different from like the trike and the and the buggy long. Yeah. Um, kind of excited to see what the like um, cordal the cordal one is going to look like. All of them, really. I mean, they do one for every gang. Like the Delac one. What's that going to be? Oh um, no, that's going to be a stupid fucking spider flying machine. Or oh, that'll be the Vansar. The Vansar one will be like real dumb Infinity that type thing. I still kind of want to see it. Yeah, yeah, I'm curious because. You know, they've all got these kind of like aesthetics. Um, but yeah, mm. I like I like these Escher bikes. I think they're very nice. They're well cool. done, well done, Escher bike. Um, is any of this new? I guess this is technically new, but Space um, Marine. We, we've seen them all before. They're just plastic versions of of resin boys, aren't they? Wow, this guy's kind of fun. Like the Chungus Dreadnought. He's cool. Um. And they're letting you buy the sprue separately. So if you want more weapon options, you don't have to buy another Dreadnought. Ooh. That's, actually, that's actually a good thing. Well done, GW. You, you've done a pro positive thing. You can actually buy the weapons separately. That's pretty good. Uh, I've seen these guys. Mechanicus Army book, which I was excited for, because I like the Mechanicus, and I wanted to see what their wacky stuff was. Mm -hmm. But I read a review, Oh. and it is... Why? Um, they've like broken the Mechanicus up into three separate armies. Regular Mechanicus, Knights, and Titans. Okay. And so you can't use normal, regular Skatari infantry unless you have a Titan army. Okay, as the Titan guards. Yeah, exactly. They don't, there's no version of them in the regular 
like mechanic and army, which okay. is super weird. Um, and then the knights, you can only have one knight for every unit of armages in your army. So you, it basically means every knight army is going to be identical. If right. you want three knights, you have to have three units of armages, and then that's your army done. Although, like, wasn't... Um, I'm sure I've heard somewhere that uh, knights in Horus Heresy 1st Edition, mm. it, it was just the, the shittest army in the world. Really? Well, no, that, like, it was the shittest game in the world, because either mm. you just don't have enough anti-tank and mm. you'll definitely lose because it was old school Warhammer where there's armor values and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have enough anti-tank, yeah. like you you will never be able to win that game. Mm. If you have too much anti-tank... You just wipe them off the board immediately. They will. They have no chance against you. And okay. So it's just bad, bad either way. The, the odds of you lining up of having a fair amount of anti-tank stuff yeah. is really, really like... Yeah, that's really so low charge. So binary. And, Jeez. Um, so maybe with them putting the armages in, maybe that actually it, makes it a bit more interesting. It will of make a game. it more of a game that if you were just to play a pickup game, and yeah, you're like, you've, oh, okay, you've got nice. something to attack. Cool, I can actually plink off the the mm. arm armages and just, I guess I just have to fucking run away from the big ones. And okay, that sounds better from a game design point of view. But from an army building point of view, it just means yeah. everyone's army is going to be the same. Yeah, although like I better be, I can still kind of don't. I don't know if. Um, Imperial Knights should really be like a proper like Warhammer no, army. Like, it's, it's the wrong it's scale. Cool, <laughs> cool looking force, and I do really, really like Imperial mm -hmm. Knights, but it kind of skews the game a lot. And then one other thing that bothered me was um, in Horus Heresy, you can only claim objectives if you have the line unit type. Okay. Um, which is like, you know, tactical space marines, that kind of thing. Sure. Not many things have it, apart from your box standard troops. Um, but in the Mechanicus book, the only units with line are armagers and phalaxes. Phalaxes. Um, which are these guys, which are not exactly like the basic line infantry of the Mechanicus. They're like jetpack robot boys, which are cool models. Don't get me wrong, I like them. I like the I like these figures. It's a good picture of them. I guess that that'll do. These guys. Is that not a big picture? Boom. They're cool, but they're not the front line fighting infantry. But they're the only thing in the army list that can hold objectives. Oh, seems weird. It's just super, super weird. Mm. Um. So yeah. Uh, very weird. Uh. Oh man, I was reading about these guys the other day. Oh yeah, they are very body horror. Really? Tell me. Like, look at this boy. The boy that's inside it. He doesn't look happy, does he? No. <laughs> um. Uh. That they, for some reason, big citation needed on this. Mm -hmm. They don't get like proper like servitored. Like they leave more of their like lobes, lobes okay. intact. They have some brain. But they, uh, you know, they're just like a head with like a spinal column, with just like mm -hmm. some input stuff put in, and they're meant to just be having the, just the worst fucking time, Ooh. just the horrible just day, constantly in pain, but following uh, orders and doing doing that thing. Um, wow. Came from Robocop right. two, a lot like that. Or do you remember the when they have like the the failed Robocops? In Robocop 2. Oh, yeah. God, then they all just execute themselves. There's the one that fucking pulls his own head off. Like yeah. That, that is how I picture these guys. Um, oh, I want to see them, because that has been years since I've watched that film. There you go, the failed robots. That guy. Oh, that guy just rips his own head off, doesn't he? Oh, my God. One of them shoots himself in the head. I remember that. Uh, um, we could probably We can probably watch this. I don't think the studio that owns this film is um, in business anymore. Nice. Oh, he got his foot stuck in a hole, Tom. Send it to Help him. Help me, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the Atua Nine design. I think it's a cool robot. Yeah. Um. He's not as good as Robocop, is he? He's so slow. <laughs> just fucking electrocutes himself, Man. shoots everyone involved in the project. 
<laughs> and then it's just like, see ya. <laughs> Bonk. Yeah. <laughs> just a little like. Warning. Warning. <laughs> Uh, is, is this the good one? Ah, existence is pain! <laughs> yeah, that. That's what I, I'm picturing those guys. Not having a, just the best time. Jeez. Um, very good. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see when the book comes out. But When's the um, Custodes book coming out? I don't know. I'm guessing like another three months. Um... And then they're repackaging the night, but the only thing new is they get um, a different transfer sheet. Ooh. F five pounds more? <laughs> At least. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we've seen all of these as well, haven't we? I'm Probably. pretty sure we've seen all this stuff. Elf dice? Oh, I quite like their logo. The logo's fun, isn't it? That's nice. Hmm. And yeah, that's that. Um, but now it's been a year of Warhammer Plus. So all those snipers in towers and all core bosses have been sent out, I assume. And now we get a new model if you subscribe to Warhammer Plus for a year. Before we see the new model, mm. I was watching an Orspex Tactics mm -hmm. video about those snipers are selling for, on average, about £50 on eBay. Oh, that's less than I thought it would be, to be uh, honest. Well, they've been selling for up to like a hundred pounds, mm. but right now I think more people have put some up, and so okay. the standard sort of price um, is fifty pounds. And mm. so they were working out postage and this. That actually, if you had have done the Year of Warhammer Plus yeah. with the ten pound voucher, oh, okay. you would have actually made ninety p. So there we go. Pays for itself. <laughs> Good. <laughs> nice. Oh. Well, now you can have these guys instead, who are actually way more interesting than that sniper. I think both of them are fucking amazing. They're brilliant for different reasons. Obviously a bit more niche, but does anyone remember the old white dwarf cover with this guy on? All right, so white dwarf 142. Is it? Oh, I've got no fucking idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. White dwarf. Corn Terminator. It is impressive how not only uh, this guy, bam. Which which issue was he on? Oh, um, but, he, but the model looks fucking spot on. Yeah, like holy shit! Not only have they made it the model look the same, but they've like the paint job they've done. Yeah, also like the shading, the shading, the it, highlights. Like it's so nicely painted. It's, yeah, it's, they've made it. They painted it to not look like a regular GW model, but to make it look like a painting. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I really like it. It's very cool. And it is exactly the same, isn't it? I mean, holy shit. I mean, it's a bit glowier, a bit less grungy. But I think it's a cool model. I really yeah. like him. Um, the fist is fucking stupid. Yeah. But it's fun. <laughs> just that's how a chain fist should be. Cut off two of your fingers. Put the chain fist on. the middle. <laughs> yeah. Uh... The base is finished. <gasps> Fingertips aren't gold. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, you fucked up. Yeah, they did fuck that up, actually. Hmm, spot the difference. Wow. <laughs> you win a gold star. But yeah, I, I, I like it a lot. I think he looks fucking cool. Hmm. I think he's great. Yeah, I guess this guy's got a bigger gun. I do really like his gun. It's fucking huge, isn't it? It's huge. so fucking silly. I wonder if they did it originally at that scale and someone was like, uh, we can't make it like it's this. It's too big. It's just too big. Um, uh, yeah, that's great. Great toy. Mm. Um, and the other one. Yeah, I really, I really like this toy. Um, but the other one, I think, is actually even better. So I don't really care that much about the sorcerer. No, the wizard's fine. And I don't, but... I could like take it or leave it. It's his little familiar friends. Yeah, um, and they look exactly like the old ones. Should we get get those up? So there was armored armored imp. Yeah, let's bring these up because we'd love like a lot of these models, right? Um, boom. So we got this one at the back. Scroll imp. Uh, this new one. He's got like the same hood and the bank bundle of scrolls. There he is at the back. 
the warrior imp. That is, that is this guy. Oh, yeah. No, you're right. It is that guy. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I really like Chaos Familiars. Uh, this guy, absolutely great. Like a mimic cauldron? Just, you know... Is that a ladle sticking out of his mouth? Yeah. <laughs> you know, because he's still going to use it as a cauldron. <laughs> if, if, I, if, mm, if I was going to complain about anything, I think Tiny, Tiny Knight is too big. Oh, uh, maybe. Because if you put him next to a regular-sized person, he's only... He's like Boba-sized. But if they're on 25 mil bases, he's not going to be that big. I don't think he'll be okay. But he's like... You might think he's just a small person rather than a little imp. He, that guy would be fucking cool if you had a Chaos Warrior army. <laughs> and have that as your general in the front rank. <laughs> just like, hey, get behind me, boys! How big a Kragnos rock would you put him on? I think just I want him really low down. With just right. like all the classic old Chaos Warriors. Like, just massive chunguses. And just yeah. him there, like, Meh. I'm the real hero. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think it would be cool. I think it would be real, real uh, cool. Big fan. These guys are like, fucking great. Love it. Um, Chaos Familiars, super, super rad boys. Like both of these guys are such obvious like 90s nostalgia, aren't they? Mm. Like those are perfectly aimed at like the Tom and Ben's of the world. Yeah. Which I think maybe is like the better option for who you want to try and get to spend some money on Warhammer Plus. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I like his little evil book that he stabbed and stood on. Yeah, it's a naughty book. Yeah, it's been very naughty. Um, yeah, look great. Yeah, really rad. Really impressive. I'm, oh, I'm almost tempted to get that sorcerer. Really? Yeah, well, I've got a little... Um, Chaos um, Saga army of Chaos Warriors. Oh, yeah. So I would have a purpose for it. But also, if I was ever doing like a fantasy roleplay kind of scenario, having these little imps and oh, boys God, around. Oh, super, super nice. It'd be very fun. I like them a lot. But I don't know if I can... Well, I guess it's just pay £35 and wait a year, and then maybe occasionally watch some Warhammer Plus. Yeah. Maybe it's all right. All right, very cool. Um, we got some new Chaos Legionnaires, and I was very excited when I read this um, this headline. But then I saw the models, and I was like a lot less excited. These new Warcry Chaos boys are just oh, I don't think I've seen these. I don't know. They just uh, okay. I don't hate it. They're all right. I kind They're, of like them. How big are they? They look big. Um. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's like the new cent centaur, centaur order or whatever. Yeah, centauroid. Centauroid. They, um, they previewed him ages ago. Yeah. I thought he was out, but I guess not. So it's only this one picture of them, which is kind of weird. Um, okay. I don't know. Maybe the leader's okay. I don't really care for the, the other guys so much. I kind of like the leader... The other guys, the other guys look very fucking Warcry, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Wow, that's a real small cow that they're burning. Is this a conversion? Because that looks exactly like the cow off of the giant sprue. They don't tend to put conversions in anymore. Like that, every that looks piece like the cow from the giant sprue, and those look like the tusks from the. Uh, big thunder gun. Mm, you're right. Uh, or the. Um, well, maybe they just copy pasted them. Maybe. I don't know. I just I, I thought it was their policy to. Any time they do a photo, any scenery needs to be like purchasable. Oh, uh, maybe it, maybe it is. Maybe they just copied it. Mm. But yeah, well, they're they're fine. Mm. Uh, we've got a new Empress Children Praetor, oh. who I think actually looks pretty cool. I like yeah, him a lot. He's fine. It's a nice fancy space marine with a bird head. I like his weird little combi. Like it's it's you gotta make a space marine pretty fucking exciting to like get <laughs> give me like a semi. Like. <laughs> yeah, you are so bored of space marines at this point, aren't so you? So <laughs> bored. <laughs> I like him. He looks different enough to the other like Terminator guys to look interesting to me. I think he's nice. Has he got like shouty mouth? Like no, no shouty mouth for him. Shame. 
I've never seen like an underslung combi like that. Look, that looks cool. Is that a Volkite? Because mm -hmm. normally combi guns are like, you know, double barrel. Yeah. I quite like that. That's thinner style. Sure. Uh, what else have we got? We got this guy. Oh. Um, oh the awkward from Dark Tide. Kind of cool. It was like an action figure. Mm. Sure. Well, we've seen him before. From Ice Librarian. A Chaos Boy. Chaos Knife Man. Uh, Chaos Pistol Man. Blade Guard. I always like the Blade Guard. I think it's a good look. Okay. Yeah, you could use these to play like a large scale version of Space Marine Adventures. Space Marine Adventures! Okay. Which means it's time for Outside of the Box. Uh, First up, we got some infinity, like civilians or characters. I don't know. They look quite different. They're not in armor. Helen of Troy. Oh, sure. I don't know enough about infinity. But they look fine. Uh, uh, carrion birds. They're kind of cool. Squawk, squawk. Okay. Um, got some victory at sea stuff. Some Napoleonic stuff. Okay. Fine. Rivet Wars is back. Rivet Wars. So this used to be owned by, was it Cool Mini or not? Simon, pretty and, sure. And now Steamforge Games have like bought the license or bought all the old models or whatever it is they've done. And they're re-releasing it as a new edition, which is kind of cool. It's like a chibi World War II yeah. kind of board game. I yeah, think. I always liked the, uh, the models for it. I thought they were very, very cute. Hmm. Yeah, I'm interested to see what else they got in the yeah, future. Yeah, what the deal is. Um, Steamforge games are doing some cool stuff. There's yeah. a lot of box box games that they have that um, I kind of want. I really like um, God Tier. It's a great rule set. Oh yeah, that's played them as well. That's quite fun. And um, they got some good licenses now with all the uh, Dark Souls stuff. They're doing role playing games and board games and stuff. Pretty cool. Very true. Um, uh, right before we scroll down any further, <gasps> what do you think is going to be this week in Vietnam? Vehicles. Okay. They're only doing vehicles at the moment. They've just done so many vehicles, though, that now I think it's going to be like command staff. Oh, shit. Oh, now I'm doubting myself. Okay, bike. <laughs> bicycles. <laughs> They're going to do it one week, and then I'm going to come good. You know what? The week they do bicycles is, is the week that we say it's going to be like fucking farm animals or something. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Farm animals. That's what I'm saying. If it's bicycles this week, I'm going to fucking just quit the stream. <laughs> if it turns out. Battle mermaids? Uh, okay, that's kind of cool. You can use them with all your deep wars stuff. Deep wars. <laughs> nice. Uh, we got. Oh, I like the little fish swimming up there. That's a nice touch. That's cute. You could put them in your um, I don't know, Deepkin army. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Um, paddle steamboat. It's kind of fun. Okay. Uh, and it's truck, truck, and tank. Oh, oh God, those were pattern. two good like vehicle choices. Shit. I couldn't believe they're doing another vehicle. I really thought they'd. You know, spunk their vehicle Move load. out of the vehicle territory. Yeah. Um, Shit. Wow. Okay. Uh, right. Kickstarter roulette. What are we going to pick today? Oh, fuck. Mm. Uh, Ooh. Modular evil warriors. <laughs> they sound great. <laughs> um... Uh, the Chimerian Destroyer. Oh, sounds cool. <laughs> Fun buildings too. <laughs> okay, that sounds nice. Uh, uh, oh, the most badass dwarves in the galaxy. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, great. Getting those. Hmm. Um. Grim Battle Giant Eater. Nice. Uh, can we also just... I want to know what porn wars, chairs, Vietnam <laughs> edition. <laughs> and, what are, and what do people want? People want Dwayne the Minotaur. Uh, A lot of people have said that. You're okay. going to Dwayne the Minotaur. Perfect. 
Okay, Modula Evil Warriors. <laughs> so they do look a lot like old school Chaos yeah. Warriors. They look like 5th edition Chaos Warriors with the little hunchbacks. Yeah. I'm oh. not sure if you ever built some of those 5th edition Chaos Warriors, yeah. but they were fucking impossible to rank up. Yeah, because they spilled out over their base. And were like, so, so spiky much. and jagged that <laughs> yeah. you had to like kind of tessellate them yeah. and like number the fucking bases to be yeah. able to I put them it. down. They did them so much. Uh, these guys are actually... Oh, they're a bit hunchbacked and rigid. But they they just look like old... Yeah, but I never liked those miniatures. Even, even at the time, I didn't like that version of Chaos Warriors. I remember when the ones with the capes came out. Those were so And I was good. just like, thank fuck, there's some decent Chaos Warriors in the world now. Because those ones were so bad. Uh, oh, plastic. Warriors. Uh, these guys. There. Yeah, I hated them so much. Uh, here we go. There they go. Look at that. You can see them spilling out. Someone's worked really hard there to get them to line up. Literally have to do that. Um, it's <laughs> such a fucking nightmare to do. Uh, I have some nostalgia for them. I kind of, I kind of think they're rad. But yeah, when they moved over from these. To these. Oh, such an improvement. Were really cool. They've only just replaced these recently. Just real nice. Like a little bit static. I think they look better with like the shield than the They two do. Hand they weapons. look way better with the shield. Because with two hand weapons, they all look like they're getting ready for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Where's my meat? <laughs> yeah. Where's my meat? Um, yeah, with those yeah. big fucking shields. Oh, man, they were really nice. Really nice models. Super big fan of them. Okay, Modular Evil Warriors. Oh, I right. kind of like them. They look sort of shit, but that's how the old models looked, and that yeah. makes me smile. Uh, okay. the Simmeron Destroyer. It's Conan. Oh, Conan themed miniatures. Okay. Uh, we got we got a Conan. It's a Conan. And a Snookman. Oh wow, literally it's just Conan. Okay. Is he like out of yeah, copyright now? Yeah, sure. Red Sonia. Uh, uh, Grave Dragon. Snake God. Cool. Kickman. I don't remember half the characters. Jeez, okay. they're not cheap, though. Oh, they're big. Yeah, big toys. They're okay. Yeah, I didn't hate them. Like, if you're like a, you know, when you... People that paint, like, busts and stuff yeah. like that. Like, they're, nice. they're very nice. If that's, yeah, you want to paint up a nice... Big scale miniature. I don't think I'm gonna ever use them, but they're not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty nice. Not silly though, like I was hoping. Oh, uh, most badass dwarves in the galaxy. Okay. It's a dwarf on a ball. They're kind of. Oh, they're kind of fun. Yeah, I like those guys. They've got like, they look pretty characterful. Oh, that's quite a cool APC design. I do like them. that. Mm. Oh, it's nice. I guarantee that GW's APC will look not as good as that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I kind of like them. Yeah, I think these guys are cool. I'm just going a bit more sort of like biker, bikery with them. Okay. Yeah, I don't love the ball riders. But the no, rest are cool. But well, they're kind of kind of fun. It's like a little ball. Pumbito. Hmm. Uh Grimble Giant Eater. Is an orc? Yeah. Oh, he's got big, a real big mouth, isn't he? Real big mouth. Well, he has to eat giants. Right? <laughs> oh my god. Like, if you start at his feet and work your way up, it's like he's sort of enlarging as you look yeah, up at him. Like some weird, like, perspective trick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How small all the orcs are around him. Holy shit. Is this one fucking naked? <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow, he's big. That's a genius. Yeah. And you've got titties. Oh, there you Congratulations. go. He's making his own berry milk. Lady Darkerry in her full glory. Oh, dear. What's the rich lore of that? Mm, I hadn't even spotted her before. 
Uh, yeah, well, Even though they painted it bright blue. I, th I thought it was like a fish or something <laughs> up here. Like, I couldn't really tell, but uh, sure. Oh, dear. Right, sure. Uh, okay, well, you've got... You win the Pervert Award. Oh, yeah. The least coveted of all awards. <laughs> uh, okay. Porn Wars, Vietnam uh. Edition. Okay, it's like a 3D print of Vietnam stuff. Porn Wars. Chess. Okay. Sure. Hang on, do you both play Americans? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Looks like you do. Sure, if you love Vietnam and chess, boom, yeah, this is why the not? starter for you. Print I yourself some little tanks. And what did chat go for? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, do you remember the time Dwayne The Rock Johnson was CGI'd onto a terrible scorpion body? Yeah. Well, looks like we found something even better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that it? Was that that trailer? <laughs> it's just six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Artifacting is that's in not their us. Trailer. That's part of their video. That's their trailer. <laughs> yeah. Like this. This is all in the trailer. <laughs> it's perfect. Chat wins, I think. I th guess chat wins this time. <laughs> I can't compete with that. <laughs> My dream 3D modeling and printing is something I believe in and enjoy doing. By making mm. this project, you help me help support my dream of doing this full time. Okay, you got you got some more work ahead of you, I'm afraid, sir. To but keep it up. You can only get better. Okay, well, they've got two backers for 21 bucks. Okay. Well, you can make this possible, guys, if you want to. <laughs> you got to start somewhere. No one's amazing at something first time, right? You just you keep you keep going, and you get better. <laughs> he hasn't even cleaned up the test m the promo model properly. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, it's got like the hammer's got like loads of stuff to scrape off. Okay, he's nice. He's a nice boy. Nice, what a lovely young boy. Well done. Uh, bam. Okay, so I think that concludes. <laughs> Uh, what was new in Warhammer oh, last week? They're quite nicely know. painted, aren't they? I don't know who that boy in the end is. Yeah, I don't recognise that one. Well. <laughs> Just layers upon layers. Oh, he's on a weird, like, reptile horse. Sure. Mm. Okay. Uh, bam! Very good. Is that all the nerd nerd news? It's all the nerd news I've got. Unless you've got oh some. Oh my nerd god, look at his fucking nips. Ooh. Real just <laughs> right but like right in the middle of the peck. <laughs> yeah. Not where nipples normally are. Those are real nipples. Well, you know, chaos works in mysterious ways. Yes, my <laughs> mutation is I'm going to shift your nipples kind of slightly in and make them uncomfortably large for everyone around you. That's your gift. Yeah, everyone else is minus one initiative. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bam, it's these big fucking wacky nipples. They, they're making eye contact with me, Tom. I can't look oh, away. God. Okay, move away. Jeez, wow. Uh, uh. Boom. There we go. We can leave. Can't. I just want to see. He's got a sad face. He does have a big sad face. Sure. Cool. Congratulations, chat. You won. We did it. You did very good. That's it. Well, we've now we've found out all of what was new in Warhammer. Nice. Good job. Well done. Some good stuff. Well played. Um. Um, but unfortunately, oh no, it is ready! Hooray! Huzzah! Got the it. little the progress bar had me spooked. Love it. Oh. Um, I guess we will turn off all the mods because this oh, yeah. is a, like a pre-release version. Yeah. Um. Boop. Good job. Uh, mods are off. Perfect. 
Let's play. So we've got early access. Huzzah. We've got the immortalist of empires. Not a brand risk. Nah, we didn't make those nipples. We didn't make those. <laughs> Can you blame us for having eyes and looking? No. No. It was, it was looking at us first. That's right. They started it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <sighs> so... Um, this is it. This is the one. Immortal Empire. We're back. Oh, I've missed it. I've missed playing Warhammer. Yeah, me too, actually. Like, with the uh, Immortal Empires being released, actually kind of hot. Ooh, mm. Risk of Seizures. Ooh, that's my favourite part of the update. Did we used to have Risks of Seizures mm, in this? Think maybe we did, but we didn't know about it. Um, hmm. They've got your package. Don't worry, we'll bring it back after <gasps> the break. The package, I had forgotten about the package. That will be a thing. Um, it's still on Ben's desk. Uh, but yeah, so we've not played this in a while. It wasn't as hot for just like standard uh, Warhammer 3, but Immortal Empires, I think, is going to be yeah. the dream. Me too. I'm excited. Oh, look, this is all new. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> Champions of Chaos. New campaign. Immortal. Right, so it is in beta. It's not out yet. Yeah. Things might break. Things might get a bit fucky. There's, You're gonna have to forgive them. There's gonna be some problems here or there. Stuff might change. Um, hmm. Uh, look at the map. Wow. It's a big old map, eh? Hey? That's a. That's a whole lot of map. It's a whole lot of map. Uh. Um, so. Who? Kind of overwhelmed here. Who are your top choices? I want to get back to the old world. I want to go back to the old world. Because we've done a lot of the new world, and obviously we did a bit of the east. I love the old world. But I want to go back to where it all, be all began. You yeah. know, back to our roots. All began. Uh, what's Skarsnik's deal? What's he up to these days? Have they moved him again? He never I'm stays a still. He's a schemer, isn't he? Trying to think, where's he going? Oh, yeah, because look, Grimgore is like over here to ready to fuck up the Chaos Dwarfs when they come out. You got schemes. That'd be a nasty surprise for him. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he's scheming, Ben. He's actually, he did it, Tom. He did it. Yeah. He took back Karagate Peaks. Good job, buddy. I'm so proud Good of job. him. Good job. No longer on that stupid fucking squig hunting <laughs> gig like quest. <laughs> yeah. Got Wurzak down there. We got Gro. Oh, you can go all over the shop with green skins, can't you? Plenty of choice. So that's an option. That's definitely an option. If you want schemes, he's got schemes. He's got schemes. Um, I do. Love Skarsnik. He is one of my favorite boys. Uh, where did the Vampire Count start? Manfred's all the way down there? So Boring von Karstein has adventures with books. Okay. Um, Book Wars. We like those. Oh, no, hang on a minute. We don't like those. <laughs> no. And Helmand Gorst is off um, over an end with his ah. brothers. What about old, old Skavens? Okay, Quick's gone a bit higher. He used to be like down here. So he's a bit more back in the game. I guess he's going for Karakate Peaks too. Yeah. Skrog's down there. Tre oh, Tretch has moved. He's actually okay. really close to Qu Quick. Uh, it gets in Skaven Blight. That's cool. Nice. Oh, shit. That's actually really cool. Uh, Death Master Snitch is sadly in the part of the game I don't want to play. He's think, over hanging out in Cathay. Anyone past these islands here, anyone from that point on, I'm not. I'm not keen for right now. He's going to get stomped. Uh, oh, yeah, and obviously Throt's on. Help it. Help it. That makes sense. Um, I do love Skaven as well. I love Skaven. I love Gobbos. Um, yeah, it's a tough choice, honestly. I do want to do this at some point, not this time, but next time I want to conquer the South Pole and um, teleport around the world, murdering everyone. Yeah. That would be really fun. Um, I guess Lizzie and obviously are all all in the in the jungles. Do the jungle jungle stuff. In jungle stuff. Uh, ooh. Let's be schemers. I'm a schemer. I think that's what, I think that's what we're most hot for, right? Let's get the hot gobos in. Like I I just love scheming. Where do the chaos warriors start? God, he's really far out now, isn't he, old Archeon? He's got to kill a lot more chaos boys before he can come down. Yeah, boy. Who looks over there? Sigvald's really out of the game. Uh, oh, look 
of that guy's chin. <laughs> it's <laughs> real <shit>. goitery. <laughs> oh, she's up there. The thing is, I want to play these guys. Because they're the ultimate Tom and Ben combo. Yeah. But they're in the land of sadness. Yeah. We can get back to it. We can go back to it another time. I suppose. We just need a break from that part, don't yeah. we? We can come back to it later. Bellacor does start on Albion, which is kind of fun. Okay. On the Isle of Whites. The Isle of Whites is the best, best name ever. Uh, love that. But no, we as Gobbos. I'm pretty sure we as Gobbos, right? Yeah. I can get, who are we going to go for if we, if we want to be Gobbos there? Plotting and scheming. So I would like us to take revenge on the, the fucking old world mm -hmm. for every time we've tried to do Skarsnik and they've come and they've kicked the fucking shit out of us. <laughs> He's been the whipping boy for too long, hasn't and he? So now, mm -hmm. get the schemes together. Go back. Revenge on uh, Karl Franz and the ghost friends. Which I love. Uh, unique building chain and character 8 peaks. Sounds cool. Chief of Goblin units. Pretty nice. Unless anyone knows about any any lords or factions that get some kind of cool new like objectives or new mechanics in this update. Because I heard that Manfred is looking for books now, which is kind of a fun extra thing for him to do. Does anyone know of any other lords who have a fun little side quest like that? That could be fun. Uh, oh, Volkmar is also looking for books. Really? That's fun. Okay. Uh, anything else? Are any of them scheming? Hmm. Uh... Is there a thing that tells us what their objectives are? I don't know. New stuff in the settings. What settings? What do you mean? I don't see a button for settings. Oh, here. Aha. Oh, what are all these things? Oh, there's a pool of potential scenarios. Potential endgame threats that can trigger during the campaign. Oh, amazing. That sounds amazing. Should we turn the wild hunt off? Do we want a massive wood elf army attacking us? <laughs> I think we do. <laughs> What's the Black Pyramid do? Long victory. No, I don't want long victory. Black Pyramid, sure. Vampiric Ascension, why not? The biggest wear, a grudge too far, those all sound perfect. Oh, brilliant. Okay, I love the sound of all of those. Yeah. Uh, so, end game's going to trigger at some point between turn 100 and turn 150. That's cool. That's what the big map needed, was something... Something that you can turn on or mm. not. Amazing. I love it. I love this already. Uh... We misread it. It will automat It will just automatically trigger on a long victory. You do not need a long victory. I don't know what you mean. We'll begin after doing that. Oh. Hmm. Long victory options are unchecked scenarios. Will oh, not so if we finish our own objective before turn 100, this, then it will just trigger an end game for us. Okay. Sure. That makes sense. Oh, I'm excited by this. That sounds great. This was really my only complaint about um, Immortal Empires. Cool. Uh, like, needed a cool objective. Wait, he's got those. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Old Skarsnik. <sighs> just like, it, he's, he's in our hearts, isn't he? Just scheming around the place. He's just a, just a great gobbo. Yeah. He's a sneaky gobbo who has always got a plan. He's, well, he's always got a scheme. <laughs> Do you think um, we'll have Slider Miser? Oh, I hope so. I'll be sad if Slider Miser's gone. Um, don't forget to kill Emperor Killer Slider Miser. Yeah, if we can go and... Um, go assassinate Karl Franz. Uh, That's canon now. 100%. You're on hard, hard. Oh, not very hard, very hard. Oh, shit. We done goofed. Oof. Should we reload? <laughs> we could take an early break and fix that. 
that might make sense. Because um, otherwise we're going to sit here for two minutes, three minutes loading the game, and then we're going to quit out for another three <laughs> minutes loading uh, the game. Just do, just do that again. We can change it in game. Can we? Not sure that's true. That seems like madness. Hmm. Um. Mm. If it's not the hardest, are you even really playing? Who knows? I guess not. Do we have any donations? We do. We can read out some lovely messages while we wait. We do, but do you wanna do you wanna do the quit and then reload and we can just do the early break and then we can come back and just like mm. bam. Okay, do, this do, all it, in, do it all properly. All properly. Mm -hmm. and then this will be the point where we start the new campaign after the, the thing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go on a quick sort of like five five minute break or so. Um, we're gonna be coming back. We're gonna mm -hmm. be playing War Hammies. Yep. We've got old Sly Demiser, hopefully. He's and, a schemer. Um, Scarsnick scheming around. Uh, we'll be reading out your very lovely donations uh, mm -hmm. and you into the battles and shit like that. Mm -hmm. We'll see you soon. See you in five. Ben, 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 ben. Tom, 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 Tom. Welcome. Welcome back, everybody. Back. We're back in total. Wah! Total wah! Um, man, exciting. He's got schemes. Did you hear him? I do want schemes. There he is. There you are, It's our beautiful boy. He's back. Scar Snake's back. So here we are. This is us in Mount Gunbad. Nice. There's a there's a there's a place in Lord of the Rings called that, isn't there? Mount Gundabad. Gundabad. Ah, this got some extra letters in. Legally different. <laughs> right. Uh, um. So obviously, gold mine, right? Sure. Look, you can see it there. There's gold in them there hills. There's gold in them there hills. Giant golden boulders. So we'll get that going. Um. And then, can we just barrel in? Because look, Carricate Peaks is. Over here. That's nice. where we want to go. That's the dream. So that means we have to go this way past Mount Squighorn. Okay. Um, and kill Drumpler. So there's a couple of armies here, though. Look, there's. Wow. There's oh, Morglum. Not, not Morglum, neck snapper. And there's. Zorgoth. Can we take him out with this little army? Zorgoth. Yeah, we can do it. He's got I orcs. Think, I feel like the Arachnorox does that by himself. All right, well, should we stick Sly in as well yeah, to uh, get him some XP? Sly. Join up. Uh, we should name these boys before they die and win gloriously for us, right? Boom. Make it so. Um, are we going to rename Sly to Miser? No. <laughs> okay. no Special I love, boy. I love Sly. All right, who's going to be our goblins with fanatic? That's uh, damn wise. Hmm. Uh, we'll Anyone's. read all of your messages uh, very soon, but um, we'll just do some naming naming first. Got more fanatical goblins? Uh, Keegnar. Keegnar, welcome aboard. Got regular gobbos. Uh, Lord of Persia. Oh. Welcome aboard. More night gobbos. Uh, that's Robo Wizard. Perfect, welcome. Some uh, regular gobbos. That's Mr. Bucket Man. Muck Bucket Man. Oh, Muck Bucket Man. Okay. Uh, some gobbo archers. That's Relics. Relics. Welcome. Squiggles. Uh, that's the kissing detective. Oh. Don't kiss a squig, because that's how you lose your face. That's what they say when they come in to bite you. I'm just kissing. Uh, uh, this could be Rasheel the spider. Rashiel. Nice. Welcome. Okay, there will be many more gobos to come. Don't yeah. worry. We'll get you all in, hopefully. Um, oh, yeah, we can lightning strike. I forgot I could do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, we can do that even if we have, if there's supports or something. Should we do a fight? I think we need to fight just to, like, warm up. Just just get in there. It's been a long time since I've done any fighting in this. Yeah. You gotta remember how it all works. We gotta get gobbos in their in the backs. Yeah. Gobbos no good in the front. That's what I remember. Uh but we've got we've got squiggles. 
uh, to go around. Our squigs, very good. They get plus forty percent charge bonus. Mm. I think. Um, big speedray. I think that speedray would probably just win this battle by itself. <laughs> uh, probably. It's my my red hot guess. Well, uh, they're asking if we're going to use the blood DLC. I have not installed the blood DLC because I don't know about it, how what it looks like in this one, but in other Games Workshop games. The blood DLC has been insane. It's been pretty bloody. And everything is just literally, it's like a bucket of red paint's been poured over everything. Pretty bloody. So I always turn it off. Um, but I don't know, I've not tried it on this. It might be, it might be a bit more sensible, but uh, it's not for me. Uh, oh, there's a slider now. Slider miser. Oh, slider miser, there he is, he's a schemer. Yeah, he's a schemer. <laughs> <laughs> Run us through your, your battle plan. Fanatics in the middle. I <laughs> see <laughs> it probably makes more sense to have them on the outside. Less likely to bounce back into our own boys, I suppose. But also, um, I could probably arc them in more. Oh, I don't care about hitting my own boys at all. <laughs> <laughs> goblins are. Should we turn it up a bit? I can barely hear the little blighters. Can you not hear? I've got them pretty loud. Oh. Well, when TJ comes back, maybe you can turn them up for me. I can just hear them going. Uh, and Sly? Sly, quite Sly chat not, too. not stealthy. We'll wait for TJ to come back. He's on a little break. Okay, let me just. Uh... Okay, right. You guys come up something like that. Get some spears on the flanks. Get some little bows. Mm -hmm. And the Ragnarok's just ready to charge. And Squiggles off doing their thing. Can we okay. zoom in on our beautiful boys? Yeah, what? I want to see them. Okay. We've got Night Gobbos, who are just some of my favorite things in all of Warhammer. Why are they so stinky? Uh, just stinky boys. Um, maybe they're getting a buff from... Oh, a stinky buff from Scar's Neck. Yeah, does he... That what used to be a thing that gives all of your Gobbos poison weapons. Yeah. I think uh, it's like a buff you can give him later. We've got a speed ray. What a big boy. That's pretty cool. And Squig Hoppers. <laughs> Which are just the best. Also, just great. Just great people. They're just good Gobbler people. Is Gobbler is hungry. Uh, okay, I just don't want to get hit by wolves. It's fair. No one does. Uh, oh, we've just got to do a... Not concede. No oh, default off, skirmish. Right. Do you want to default groups to lock? Does that yeah, help? Yeah, that is also something I want. Perfect. Okay. So um, we've got some donations. <gasps> Dan Wise, um, he donated. It says, Bouncing Baby Boy Ben and Devoted Daddy Tom. Um, finished some uh, rusty suits of armor between all the new dadding. A fun side project to distract from the shitty nappies. Ooh. Who are the best Warhammer parents? Kremlin's dad? Jimmy Space? Ooh. I don't know if Jimmy Space is a good parent. He's a terrible parent. That's really the whole story of the Horus Heresy is like, you know. Just big musty guys with daddy issues. Just the, all the fallout from terrible, terrible dadding. Um... Although I, I'm confused about the, the suits. You're making suits of armor to avoid shitty nappies. But what do knights do in the middle of a battle? Just poop it up. Baby. Surely they just poop their pants, right? And it's easier than taking all the shit off. And, and just hose it down. Yeah. Sounds like you're just replacing one kind of, of shitty nappy with another. Yeah. Um, Kremlo's dad just went and died, didn't he? Uh, yeah. Um, got killed. That's probably the worst thing you can do as a dad. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't his fault, though. It was those damn red crested slan. <laughs> yeah. uh, wow, these orcs are just uncaring about oh, arrows. Wow, they're just, just taking those on the shield. They think their position is amazing and they do not want to lose it. Okay, well. Oh, get them XP. Sure. Sure. Uh, who else is good? I can't even think of anyone else in Warhammer who even has kids. Uh, Toddy had some kids, but they got killed by cultists, right? Yeah. I guess, um, Creed? Cadian Creed Man? 
He, oh. he has a daughter now who's... The best. The best. Definitely not nepotism. <laughs> no, it just happens to be the best ever. Just, uh... Just like he was. Just happy coincidence. Oh, Marathi's quite a good mum, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, did she really comfort his son when his dick got burnt off? Yes, she did. She soothed him with bombs. <laughs> Uh, I can't think of any half competent parents in Warhammer at all. No one, no one's doing well, are they? No. <laughs> Boom! Yay! Fanatics! Maybe my favorite thing in all of Warhammer. God, these are f not doing good for us, though. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they came back We've lost half the unit. Dan Wise, why? Fanatics, they, they give us and they take us. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, one of the fanatics came all the way down here and mangled these boys. <laughs> Heck. Oh, dear. But Dan Wise has also sent in pictures of his um, models that he's painted. Oh. Which are looking pretty cool. Oh, Skarsnick's a good squig dad. You're right. Yeah. Let's say Skarsnick. And he's done some Rocket real League. nice, like, um, grim, dirty shield boys. Oh, they look ace. They're really they, cool, aren't oh, they? Oh, they look so much nicer than um, just, like, the golden ones. Mmm. Oh. like those a lot. They're very cool. Keep it up. Very good bases, too. Uh... Uh, Geeknar donated and says, It's Warhammer time! Boys, what in your opinion, uh, what's your opinion on the way Warhammer 3 has come out? I felt it was a bit underwhelming, but played it for 10 hours straight the first time. That said, I went back to Warhammer 2 waiting for Immortal Empires and the Blood Pack. Let's go, Toddy! And um, I, yeah, I was very excited when it first came out and I played it a bit, but there's a lot that I don't like about the campaign. Yeah, I. Not gonna lie, war didn't love it when it first came out. I didn't really like that campaign very much. Mm. I didn't like doing the realms of chaos, mm -hmm. and I don't like the way it turns into a goodies versus baddies. Yeah, like immediately super war. Like just ev if you go north to attack your opponent, mm -hmm. everyone au just automatically joins war against you. Mm -hmm. um, if you are bad guys and you're south, everyone just instantly joins the war and goes against you. Like mm -hmm. it's just not. Super and, fun. and those big set piece battles in the realms of chaos were so repetitive. really repetitive and tedious. Didn't enjoy it. I feel like they've like kind of missed missed the just missed. Yeah, missed it was a, a bit, bit of a misfire. So hopefully, you know, now that we've got all the other races back in and new victory conditions and stuff, hoping uh, hoping it'll draw me back in. Yeah. And chaos dwarves. I really want chaos dwarves. Yeah, that's one of the things I'm most excited for. Uh, is Chaos Dwarves to come mm. out. Um, oof. Uh, yeah, what about Nagash? Wow, man, I really hope they do a Nagash campaign. That would be fantastic. I'd love that. Like, if they did more of these, like, um, end time scenarios, mm. if one was like Nagash Rises, yeah. whew, suddenly this legendary lord turns up and. And everyone's got to deal with it, and he's got this endless wave of undead pouring out of his like mountain. That'd be great. There's like so many things that you could do with mm. these like random end events. Yeah, and if uh, you have like Archeon's proper end times turns up, would be super be cool. cool. Like just burning down, mm -hmm. um, burning down the world. I think I'd like that. So it's the Black Pyramid as an in-game scenario. Yeah, but I don't know what that actually is because that's not what Nagash is up to. He's not in the Black Pyramid. He's in the mountain. So I don't know. Don't know what the Black Pyramid means, or if they're just changing the law. Do not know. Uh. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see, won't we? Let's bloody see. Uh. What's edge archway? Let's take that. Oh, really? Great defeat. There's a lot of govos. And they are behind a wall, I guess. Are they? Oh, have we got the new minor settlement? Oh. Right, so taking minor settlements is actually kind of hard work. Some more gob goblins. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. 
Hang on, we'll roll that back. I clicked the wrong button. I was meant to. I meant to click siege, and I clicked auto resolve and lost the whole. Lot. <laughs> okay, so new campaign, everybody. Um, let's do. Uh, you know, um, so that's man. Skarsky campaign, very difficult. Oh no, it was still the first turn, so none of it auto saved. Oh, I super beans that. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. We'll put the same names in, but we're gonna have to reload. Oh, what a fucking dumb dumb. It's fine. You know, it's Skarsnik. Skarsnik famously Skarsnik, very hard. Famously the hardest campaign in the game. So you know, it's gonna take us a few restarts because it's so difficult. That's right. <sighs> um, where are the settings on this? Uh, left. Down. Yeah. Down. Oh, yeah. right. I see. Um, yeah, get rid of the wild hunt. Boop. Where's the difficulty? Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Oopsie doopsie. What a poopsie. What a poopsie. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We'll, we'll do. We'll do okay. No one remembers my good clicks, do they? No. Just the... You know, one in a million, bad click. The other 999,000, fucking totally serviceable clicks. Yeah, like, you know, every day of your life, you don't fuck a goat. But that one day that you do... It's just unfair. Go fuck it. <laughs> For life. For life. Uh, <laughs> sad. <sighs> sad times. Um... <laughs> Don't forget, Greenskins can confederate defeated faction leaders. Oh, yeah, they have that thing. If you kill their warlord, you can just suck them up. Which is cool. That's a good mechanic for mm. the old the old Greenskins. Get that big war going. That's how, how it should go. Right, you're going to have to give me that list of names again. Sorry. Sure. You know, it's still in beta, so, you know, there's going to be problems. <laughs> uh, it's damn wise. Damn-wise, he did very well, apart from a little bit of accidental uh, fanaticing. Well, that's part of the package. Uh, Kigna. And Lord of Persia. That's not how you spell Persia. Close enough. Uh, cool. Next. Uh, Robo Wizard. Robo Wizard. Uh, and uh, McBucket Man. And relics. And the kissing detective. And then last of all, Rashil. Nice. We did it. Don't forget to build your gold gold house. Yeah. Gonna need that. Um Right, get in there. We can auto it this time. Yeah. Uh, take some money. And now we're going to have to fall back and just recruit new units. Okay? Yeah, just get... Shut up, you! Uh, just three stabbers? Or an archer and two stabbers? Yeah. That sounds that sounds lovely. Yeah. What's Skarsnik going to want? Um... Ask your squeaks. Better night sneaking. Eternal boss. Uh, so actually, oh. like Skarsnik buffing his fucking boys. Yeah. Is pretty good because, from what I remember, Skarsnik never actually ever came up all that good as a fighter himself. No, Gobbler was there for the biting. Um, but you could get basic Gobbos mm. actually kind of holding out and doing fairly well. So a bit of that, I think, is probably not bad. Yeah. Although cardio, always good. Well, they've halved the effectiveness of cardio. Um, wow. It's only 10% now, 5% now. So I'm wondering, should we just make him a red, a red boy yeah. or a blue boy? Blue boy could be fun if we get him like making us a lot of money. I think the... I think I'd still go um, Red Boy because he, in his army, he gets, what is it, 40%, 50% discount on goblin units? Mm. So just having him as a snack of just 
you know, we don't put too much like fruity stuff in there. Just yeah, just make him a gobbo. Like gobbo we can have point. support characters. Uh, Rank seven, we'll get the quest for the stabber. Nice, a prodder. Okay, cool. Oh, disgusting! What a what a lovely what, what a fucking great guy. Uh, and wow. Uh, anyone we can be friends with? Maybe the red eye. Now. Nope. What can we do, Fluff? Uh, oh, they like us, and well, they still won't be friends. Oh, uh, well, it's improving. Um, that's it. We don't know many people yet. They like that we trespassed on the dwarves. Wow. Yeah. Dwarves suck. Uh, so Lord of Persia did it's ten bucks. Thank you, Lord of Persia. Mm, thank you. And I say Tam and Bon. Uh, where does Palpatine rate on the Weasley scale? Oh. Uh, keep in mind, uh, Palpatine can return somehow. <laughs> Please jump me up. That is a hard one to deal with, isn't it? Because I don't know how he returns. How do you... What's your headcanon for Palpatine returning? Well, they said it in... Oh, somehow. Somehow. That's He's... literally what they said in the film. Yeah. It's a good answer as any, I suppose. Uh. Oof. Shit. Can we retreat from this? Sure. Although, look, they're not. They're arriving in two minutes. Yeah, but I don't know if Can we can wipe those that? guys in two minutes. We get Vanguard deployment on half the army. We might be able to. Because if we don't retreat, then we get those recruitments in. Oh, sure. Fuck it. We can try. Um. Let's give it a go. Um, yeah. I don't know. I I still like that idea that um, the one that died in uh, Return, uh, Return of the Jedi, of the Jedi mm -hmm. that was a clone. Oh, okay. And that actually Palpatine has been in this fucking withered state on that chair on whatever oh, for like space hundreds land. of years. And that's how he kind of like stays alive, and he has these clones that he kind of sends out that kind of do stuff, and they're, that's the reason why he got beaten, because the clone is kind of shit and is being remote controlled through him, right? From fucking thousands and billions of miles away. Okay, that works. Uh, just to me, that that makes more sense than he did die in the reactor. And then he came back. <laughs> yeah. So does that mean potentially he died loads of times during the Star Wars? Like during the Clone Wars, he got shot by some battle droids and then Palpatine sends another clone in. I don't know like, if like, it's that like as frivolous as like he's just, <laughs> that he is doing the one Rob Weasley effect, wave assaulting with these clones. <laughs> yeah. um, but I think chances are a different clone could have died at a different time as well. Mm -hmm. um, I like that because Palpatine's like ridiculous plan. Do you remember like everything that's ever happened is like all part of his plan? Yeah. Um, so that means that like he get at the start of Re Revenge of the Sith, he's a prisoner on General Grievous's ship. He's been kidnapped. Yeah. And then like Obi Wan and uh, Anakin rescue him, but it's just the worst rescue of all time, and he nearly dies a hundred times because um, they're, they're falling down the sh the, sh the lift shaft and the lift comes yeah. down and then they like crash half a ship onto Coruscant and he could have easily died in that rescue attempt is what oh, I'm trying oh, to say yeah yeah, yeah easily um, and maybe that's happened before maybe he's like tried to set up a rescue attempt and he's and like, it's just fucked up <laughs> and every, all hands were lost and he's like okay <laughs> uh, and he just ignores that one <laughs> yeah just and go he's again like, oh no uh, rumors of my death were uh, <laughs> you know uh, none of that actually happened. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Everything is fine. Yeah, I had one of those Padme body doubles. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got Kira Knightley to stand in for me. Kira <laughs> Knightley, she she had to come in. Um, <laughs> uh, come on! Just fanatic instantly turned around again. <laughs> Man, we've got to chomp these guys up real good. Not much time left. No. Get the squiggles in. But on the Ron Weasley scale? I don't know, man. I mean, Palpatine literally has unlimited power, right? He says it. 
he says it and all the lose, time. He's not a liar. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's ever lied in his life. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I think it takes it takes a pretty high high number of weasels. Yeah. I mean, is he immune to magic, or can he deflect magic, or counter magic, or can Ron Weasley just go boop? Well, Ron Weasley, he can fire like a little magic lightning ball against Palpatine, and then it'll go back and forwards, and then Palpatine uh, withers and dies again. Oh, can he deflect lightning with his wand? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> so the first Ron Weasley gets fucking electrocuted, and then the second one blocks it like yeah. a pro. Yeah, they, he sees like, oh shit, yeah, that doesn't look good. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want that to hit me. <laughs> yeah. no. And then. He whips out two wands. Well, he could pick up the other one. <laughs> yeah. The first Ron carries the wand. <laughs> the second has the... Okay, so four Ron Weasleys to have two functioning wands. Yeah. That's what it takes. Okay, sweet. So, um... Four. Four. Four Ron <laughs> Weasleys. You heard it here. Fucking fanatic. <laughs> so bad. But you loved fanatic. I do, I do love them. <laughs> but they just are uh. bad. <laughs> okay, there's no way these ones can be bad. Because we've got to beat up all these orcs before we can make our own wire and actually start fighting the other races. You know, when the orcs aren't taking us seriously. We're just a gobbo to them. Yeah. If we can't beat up these orcs, we can't beat up anyone. Okay. Uh, Robo Wizard has donated. Thank you, Robo Wizard. You say, Tom, Ben, I desire only death in glorious combat. Chomp me up. You shall find it here, sir. Skarsnik's got some kind of cool power. Oh, Stork and Unspottable. <laughs> sure. He's got sneaking powers. He's a schemer. Oh, chat's asking about that gift again. We forgot again. Oh, no. We'll have to do it after the break. I feel like the more, the longer we, the more we forget and the more chat reminds us, the, the, it gets hyped up in their brains. Yeah. I don't even know what it is, but I feel like at this point it's never going to live up to the hype. I know what it is. I think it will. Oh. Back in the Warhammer world, I think it'll do very good. Okay, cool. We shall, uh, we shall do it after the next break now. Um, the Kissing Detective has donated. What? 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 Thank you, Kissing Detective. And they say, Mwah! Slanesh has gifted me on the lips of resurrection. Line the gobbos up for a blessing, please. Mwah! Uh, it might take extra kisses. Mwah! It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Mwah! Oh, what a nice detective. Well, thank you. You Very kissed kind. all our boo-boos better. Uh, I just want to run down a few of these guys, because we're going to have to fight them again. Oh, my God, I just thought. Ron Weasley versus the Emperor. You know what Ron Weasley has experience doing? Driving a flying car. Oh, can that's like Ron, pod racing. Well, can Ron Weasley do a Death Star trench run in his flying car? Oh my god, that's a fucking scene I want to see. <laughs> and him just going, oh! oh it's kind of like bonking from side to side. <laughs> Darth Vader swoops in, he's like, the force is strong with this one. Yeah, oh my god, that's kind of fucking good. That's a, that's a great, a great visual image. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. He somehow dodges everything with just like clumsy ineptitude. Yeah, that's it. He's got that like super luck power. <laughs> yeah. And then um what's he gonna drop down the the shaft to like blow up the Death Star with Palpatine in? Oh god. Um you know, uh what's his name? S Scabbers, the rat. <laughs> <laughs> or um Oh he goes down and frogs. And then <laughs> Drops a bucket of chocolate. Just, cho frog. just oh, but he doesn't drop it on purpose. It like jumps out and like falls in, <laughs> no, right. and like just goes in there, short circuits something, like because it melts on some conduit, and then just blam. Perfect. Uh, 
Uh, oh no, yeah, Vader shoots at Ron, but Ron veers out of the way and Vader's lasers. Oh, <laughs> like, okay, yeah, it's about they go down. <laughs> then, yeah. Nice, okay, I think that's good. Um. I like that. <laughs> oh, bloody hell! <laughs> <laughs> my dad's going to be in so much trouble with my dad! Uh, oh. Damn it. That fight went very well. That went amazingly. You didn't even have to kill the first part of the army. You just killed all of them. I was so close to killing that first part, though. Oh. I've already told you, sir. Minimal. Minimal. Oh, fuck off. Um. Oh, yeah. Do we need another turn of resting after that battle? Some more recruitment, maybe. Because uh. they've, they've got... Um, a decent, a decent garrison in there. Oh, geez. And yeah, I'm just going to do the same again. Make sure we overkill it. Uh, do you want to take two units of archers instead of... Yeah, because it is a siege, I suppose, isn't it? And I think just more plinking. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Ooh! Oh, it's like a Hydra. Feral Wyvern? Feral Wyvern? They weren't in the game before. I don't think they were. You had feral manticores. I don't remember feral wyverns. Cool. That's kind of kind of rad. What do we have to do. We have to get. Oh, we have to get a trophy from a war to unlock them. Sure. Cool. Sounds fun. And then regiments of renown. Very cool. Um. Oh yeah, not much else we can do other than the tech. Uh, gobby gobos. Sounds amazing. Uh, go bigger for growth, go faster for movement. Oh, that is good. It's 10% movement. But maybe our gobos should be gobo gobo uh, uh Oh, and then we get recruitment rank up. Yeah, sure. Let's, do it. Let's get the gobos sorted first, and then we'll go on the economy. Because that will help us just do some early stage. Also, our money's looking fucking great at the moment. Yeah. Dripping tips. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Now I don't remember what this rule actually does. Does it affect the whole army or is it just I him? I think so. Starsnick's death juice attacks. Oh. But is it just for him or the whole army? I think that's... Everyone. Is it? Dripping tips. I'm pretty sure it just basically gave the whole army poison. Uh, Just him. Oh, we've got both answers. Perfect. Does it not say on the tooltip? No. I mean, I just I just looked at it. That's it. That's all it tells us. Um, mm, so this is what it does, but I think it's just for him. Although it does say tips. More than one tip. But he's got a trident. <gasps> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Just layers, layers of confusion. Um... The whole army gets poison is a Grom thing. I'm sure it used to be whole army... Fuck it, we're doing it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's a special rule. It's his thing. Why not? Um, Slide Demiser, do we want him to be a map boy or a battle boy? Map boy! Uh, map boy is pretty good, because also, um, Skarsnik doesn't... Skarsnik have minus 50% cost on hero abilities. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll make him a map boy then. So actually going around and making him like a stabber... Because yeah. I do want Sly to go and fucking kill um kill Carl, Carl Franz, Franz as is tradition. <laughs> as is tradition. <laughs> okay, well we've got should we start leveling him up then? I'll go do some like um some block up yeah. just to make him get some XP. He's dinged again. Um, because if I get if I upgrade specialist first, sure, it'll make him cheaper because now it's twenty percent cost reduction. So okay. I just use him every turn. Yeah, yeah. Get him leveled up, power level him. That sounds um, good. He's going off. He's doing his training montage. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so relics. Then it's five bucks. Thank you, relics. Ooh, thank you. I say, Tom and Bob, did you remember my package? Was it actually my package that Tom said was on Ben's desk last time, mm -hmm. or was it something else? Uh, has it been lost in to the postal void? I need answers. Ooh. Ah. Um, I'm pretty sure it's your package. Hmm. On Ben's desk, we do get a lot of packages. I'm pretty sure this one is yours. I haven't opened it yet, though. Tom didn't let me. No. He's going to have to save it. Secrets. Pretty sure he just emptied it out. Kept it himself. 
Uh, Alright, more, more of this. Oh, failed. But that's alright, you can learn from failure. You can. Oh, he gains a wolf. Oh, he's got it automatically, I didn't have to spend a point on it. Oh yeah, they do that, they just do that now, don't they? Oh, okay. That was Warhammer 3 thing. Alright, now he's 40% cost reduction on his moves. Pretty good. That's going to be amazing. Because if we already had 50% cost reduction... I mean, we're down to 10% <laughs> cost, maybe. Let's have a look at Skarsnik, what does he actually... What are his things? All of eight peaks. Uh, charge bonus, lightning strikes, Skarsnik's war. Uh, campaign effects. What's it? Oh. Has he lost all of his coolness? Hmm. Trixie traps. I don't know, that's that thing. Sure. I don't know. Details. Nope. Okay, well, we've got some new units to name. Um, where, where do I find faction effects? I hope we go. Look, we've got to destroy the mutinous gets, Clan Ungrund, and Clan Moors. Oh, nice. They're all the people who want Karakate people. All the people that want to take our house. Yeah, and then we have to get our house. Nice. Kill the people who want our house, and then win the game. Perfect. Um, or just, you know, conquer every single territory in the game. That's also an option. If we... <laughs> <laughs> sure. So I did hear that um, uh, Repents has an ability mm -hmm. where um, now they get a tier 4 building which uh, can be built anywhere um, that gives you plus, mm -hmm. just like uh, a faction wide like plus 2 armor, plus 3 armor or something. Okay. Um, but you can build a lot of these. And you can end up with peasants. How many? With, uh, you know, 50 to 60 armor. And it actually makes these peasants pretty fucking legit. <laughs> wow. um, Just the super tank peasants. That sounds amazing. They don't do any damage, but... Um, they, they're not dying anytime soon. Uh, like that. Oh, yeah. Do we want another... Another boss. I was just Another thinking about boss. But if we conquer this first and then get a general, we'll he'll be a bit closer to the front line. Sure. Be handy. Uh, right, so these um, sneaky, nasty skulkers need names. Fruit King Eldurian. Fruit King Eldurian. You're in. Okay. Next. Uh, Fintanil. Uh, or mm. zombie stack that never dies. Ooh. Uh, and Chrome. Perfect. All right, then arrows. Chris Kempshaw. And Big Kenneth. And Leo Garm. Perfect. Okay, we're going in. Kill them all. Do you want to auto that? Or do you want to fight the siege? I feel like we could fight that and do better. Do better than... Okay, sure. Than a Pyrrhic victory. Just because then we can keep our momentum and keep... Yeah, not lose too many. Blasting around. Blasting mm. people's balls. Perfect. Although, oh fuck, I just forgot. People told us at the start of the stream, when goblin... When, or, when greenskins kill another greenskin leader, they confederate. Oh, so we could just have gone could and Could have just sniped. gone straight for the king. I've only just realized. Okay, well, we can do that next time. Yeah, we'll do it next time. Um, that'll speed us up a little bit. We need to do more of that. We need to like get this wah snowball rolling. Yeah. Got to get those schemes. I'm not schemy enough. I was too busy power leveling Slider Miser. <laughs> well, that's a scheme in on itself. That is a scheme. We should get some more, more agents out. Because you're right, we do get a 50% discount and 100% XP. Uh, mission. Oh, this is not a horrible looking place. Um, Fruit King Algerian. They've donated. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And they say, Tim, other one. Jump me up. Finally got some rain down here. I went outside and stood there like Shawshank. Anyway, want to see my freaky tomato? <laughs> it's either doubly sexy or there's been a terrible sounding accident. Rot row. Rot row. 
kind of want to see that. Freaky tomato. Thank you. Oh. Hello. That is, um... That's, that's, that's a tomato. Uh, okay. It's got a little, little nose. It's a little nose. <laughs> that's what or a happy, got. weird smile. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of different ways to look at that. Yes. <laughs> you, you may choose your own uh, head cannon for that. Thank you, Fruit King. It's very, you're very aptly named. Your kinky fruit noses. Um, oh god, I, I get, I definitely relate to the standing out in the rain though. It's been too hot for too long. Yeah, baby. That first day of rain was kind of glorious. Yeah, so nice. Like, uh, yesterday in the evening, mm -hmm. had to, like, you know, kind of close my window because I was like, oh, it's actually getting a little chilly now. Ooh. I was like, thank fuck. <laughs> yeah. um, as, my God. Too hot. It's just too fucking hot. We're not built for it. We live in these little, like, hot boxes yeah. in England, which you need in the winter. Yeah, when normally life is wet and miserable. Mm hmm. Uh, and so yeah, I really, really appreciated it getting a bit, a bit cooler. Gobbler is hungry. Okay, my house got up nearly up to forty degrees the other day. Ugh! Fucking horrible. Ugh! Not the dream. I even opened the hatch into my attic and just oh, left it open hell. in the hope that some of the oh, some it just of the fucking keeps rising heat up. would go into the roof. <laughs> okay, yeah. that that's smart. I don't know if it helped or not. But I was, I was willing to do anything. I respect it. <laughs> I would have done a fucking um, like like rain dance at that point if I thought it would help. <laughs> I, I would too. F or C? C. We always speak in C. F is not at a real temperature. No. That's made up temperature. Yeah. For nonsense people. <laughs> F is for freedom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Keep your freedom degrees. <laughs> uh, you can live with that. We all know K is the is the one true method. Wow. What's that? Calvin. Yeah. It's what the science people use. Calvin Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin and Hobbes, they know what the right temperature is. They know what's going on. <laughs> I'm sure we do silly stuff too. We've got a weird mix of like Imperial and metric here though, right? Most of Europe, metric all the way. Most of America, Imperial all the way. But then We'll do. We'll pretend to be metric, and then we'll still randomly have miles and pints. Yeah. Just <laughs> for some reason, we just can't let go. Oh man, the amount of times I'm looking up a recipe online, and it's an American recipe, and it starts telling me to use cups of stuff. Oh, oh, that winds me up. A cup. Cup yeah. as a measurement. Yeah. Um, I, I get the logic of why they did that. Uh, because back in the day, if you didn't have, like, scales and shit, mm -hmm. a lot of these recipes, as long as you're using a... Consistent. A, every, you're using the same cup. Yeah. Then it should work. Yeah, uh, I get it as, like, a, like a home... Spun thing. Two, two cup of this, one cup of that. But it's, um, it's fucking 20... 2022. Cups are all different sizes. Half my cups are different sizes to the other half. Yeah. But, you know, convincing someone to change their mind about something that they've been doing for a long time. Oh, God, yeah, no, people don't like change, for sure. And like Fushbar in chat says, not everyone even has a bra. <laughs> Just 
filling it with flour, oh God. pouring it into the cake dish. Oh, God. Uh, oh, that's quite good. Okay. Uh, anywho, um, where do we get to? Rasheel. Rasheel's donated 30 bucks. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. It's incredibly that's generous. Thank you. Tray kind. And they say, Tom, Ben, I'm so deep in the pile that I don't even know which way is up anymore. So, uh, hi. Is we still vodka bows? Happy to see you still doing what you do best. Chop me up, if possible. It's all good. Just happy to be here. Got even lost in the pile. I remember those heady days, squirming around. Oh, God. Getting disorientated. The trick is to follow the fluids. The fluids yeah. always go down eventually. Right. They find a way that. Wait, they, but do you want to find the source? Cause go up, <laughs> or go, or do you want to try and go down? Depends what you're into, I suppose. Mm. Are you a squasher or a squashy? Oh, okay, yeah, well, interesting. Different, mm. different tastes. Uh, different, different people yeah. like different things. I'm not here to judge. You do you. Okay, who are these? Just orcs. Orcsies. Yeah, it doesn't look like the old dripping tips is. Uh, it's just scar snake. Oh well. It's um next to their melee attack. It's listed. Oh. So if you click on scar snake. You can see he's got that purple drip next to his um, melee his attack. Death juice. Mm -hmm. But no one else has that. Oh. Like okay. Well, it helps him do a thing, maybe. A decisive victory rather than a pyrrhic victory. Take that. Uh, we Boom. just lose like a. Well, you had to get shot a lot. That's all right. That's the price we'll pay. Um. Oh, apparently you can unlock it with scrap. We can use scrap to give other other gobbos drippy tips. Oh. Apparently so. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Fentanyl, you've donated two. Thank you very much. <gasps> he says, brutal but cunning Tom, and cunning but brutal Ben. Mm. I have a few questions. Have you any experience with hobby chain? What size should I get for a 40k man? How do you attach it to a model? How do you stiffen it? And two, how do you often clean resin bits off? Wah. Uh Hobby chain. Um, hmm. That's the kind of thing I feel like um, I like to eyeball it usually. I like to see it in person because hmm. different things for different um, stuff. You don't want to go too big. You don't want to go too small. Um, yeah, it's a tricky one to get right. As uh, too small. Um, Kind of just disappears. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like rope. Yeah. Um, for fixing it, I found um, if you have really thin glue, like super glue, you want mm. something that's like ultra thin type stuff. Right. Stuff that I'd never normally use for like because it would run building. too much. Um, but often mm. you can get that stuff and it'll have like a brush and just like doing a. Uh, like you just want to brush the the entirety of the chain mm. once once it's on a model because otherwise it can jangle around a bit. Right, you don't um, want any like loose parts. That makes sense. Um, but I f I found like I kind of stopped really using too much like hobby chain. Mm -hmm. uh, for anyone who doesn't know what hobby chain is, it's like a model chain for putting on a model to make it look like it's got a chain that yeah. scales itself. Um. Because often it doesn't look quite right. Because uh, like normally, if models it's have chains on right. them, it kind of ignores the fact that a chain is three D. And even if it's on like Space Marine armor, mm. it'll be way more flush against the armor than if yeah. you were to put chain on top. Like you can always tell it looks too bulky. That it? chain was stuck on. Yeah, um, I'd agree with that. Uh, and you often clean resin bits off. I generally, I handle them and I trim them with a knife. And while I'm trimming it with a knife, I get a feel for how much stuff there is on it. If it's covered in like residue or oil or powder or something, 
I'll give it a wash after, yeah. after I've cleaned it with um, cleaning off the mold lines and stuff. But I'd say only maybe 20% of the time is Boy. that required for me. Usually I don't need to wash it, but your experience may vary. I feel like I kind of generally kind of just do it out of, out of reflex habit. almost just. If it's resin, just wash it every time. Like just, you know, just some lukewarm, soapy water. Get in there with like an old toothbrush. Mm -hmm. Give it like a little little scrub down. Um, Fair enough. Then just put it in a tea towel mm -hmm. and like just leave that like, you know, overnight or something. Yeah. You can dry it off a lot quicker if you want to, but that's kind of normally what I'd, I tend to do. Fair um, enough. I haven't bought from Forgeward for a long time. Like the resin I'm talking about is usually from other companies. Maybe. I did get, because um, I got some Custodes Dreadnoughts from Forge World, and they were the greasiest things ever. Really? Like, so yeah, the reason you have to wash resin is because the mold release agent is like a kind of grease that um, is not good for painting on. Um, like, yeah, it was so fucking slimy. Ooh. Use them. There it is. Yeah, I just I play it by ear. Um. I like a good but often, often they do need it. Uh, get some growth going, I guess. Getting these settlements leveled up. So who is Who's the boss of leader? these guys? What's the name of this faction? The bloody, bloody spears. So they got dripping tips. Nashrak. Nashrak. Where are you at, Nashrak? Are you one of these armies? You're not that guy. You're not that guy. Jeez, he Maybe he is just in Mount Squighorn. Okay. Well, Did we still get the mining powers? Oh, uh, the tunnel attacks? Yeah. Yeah. You can't attack th from tunnel attacks. But can we teleport past these guys and just try and... Oh. Do a, we could do. We, we run the risk of them, you know, <laughs> base racing us. Do you know recruit another army? Like, we can afford more Govos. That is true. We have a lot of money. Uh... Can we do something to this territory? Damage walls. Not allowed to. I didn't have walls. Put the army inside. Feels bad. It's weird that we're not allowed to like um, uh, attack the units in the army. Whatever that's called. Uh, oh. Assassinate. <gasps> Sly! He fucked it up! You fucked that up! He's out of action for a while. Oh, jeez. At least he's immortal, I think. Well, not a move for Oh, God, Sly. Uh, bloody hell, Sly. You were the chosen one. Oh, we can't teleport past them. We don't, oh. have, the, we don't have the range. Oh, okay. Let's get in. Oh, I need to name these um, four units of gobos. Perfect. Uh, Jibbles. <laughs> oh. Uh, Jibbles. Welcome. Uh, Paradise Kuna. And Banana Super King. And Chonkarino. Chonkarino, finally you came. Come on in. That's all of them, I think. All right, we're just bludgeoning our way into that, that town. Chonk, chonk. Valiant defeat. High casualties. They do have a lot of boys. I guess so. Shit. Uh, can we not um, lightning strike one of the armies outside... We can stop these guys from turning up. Um, Does that mean they won't right turn up? Hang on, which button do we press? Retreat. Break siege. Yeah, don't do not do the siege, but like... Oh, we don't have enough move. Fuck. Uh, let's get another warlord. I forgot to do that last turn. Do you want uh, a goblin, um, a wizard, or an orc? Let's get a great shaman. Why not? Cool. Do you want a bragger? Bragger. Great. Yeah, we want a bragger. Yeah. Right. Who's this fine young groblin? That can be um uh Sergeant Mario. <laughs> oh he spelt it. Is that oh. how you spell it? No. I'll take it. Sergeant. Sergeant. Welcome aboard, sir. Uh and they say Tom and Ben! Uh Big Ball Bradley will win dominates the final battle, yes, yes. Oh. Long live Tretch Craven Tail and his Chaos Horde. <laughs> uh, P.S. Vodscott here. 
Might be a little behind on watching. That was a good one, though. Okay. So, Mario also they donated 100 bucks. Whoa! To this big old heap of nonsense. Wow. Um, it's super generous. Very kind. One hundred dollar dues. Thank you so much, Sergeant Mario, and welcome aboard. Um, they're in on the old uh, silly, silly Warhammer times. Um, it's very, very kind. Welcome. Thank you so much. This is you. This is you here. You got, you got a beautiful face. Um, just a, just a gobbo great shaman. Misspell their name. I shaman. didn't misspell their name. That's the name. That's how they typed it. That's what they wanted. I said they spelt it weird. That's their choice. I'm not going to judge. That's more than one whole Flappertron. Wow. Could get some extra wings on your Flappertron. Um, but thank you. Thank you, S Sergeant Mario. Um, You're too kind. <laughs> what is that dancing frog in chat? Oh, it's a skeleton. Oh. It's a dancing skeleton warrior. It's very cool. Uh, Chrome donates 10 bucks. Thank you, Chrome. Thank you, Chrome. They say, bam, it's Tom and Ben. It is. Uh, do you think that Kremlo is mm. in Age of Sigma with the other Slan? Um, but he's really mad about it and dreams up marauders, not lizard men. Ooh. Uh, plus some Warhammer fancy art you might like. Um, how erotic is it going to be? Mm, very, please. Uh. Oh my god, I love it. <gasps> That's fantastic. Oh, I absolutely love it. Oh, look at that. Holy oh, shit. Oh, fuck. It's so good. Because he's like done up as like this conquistador empire okay, guy. Can we like oh, bring this god. up on the street? Yeah, TJ, we need, we need you to use your technology. Can you bring this up? Please, TJ. Uh, the <laughs> donation from Chrome. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, wow. Oh, I... That's good stuff. Oh, I really want that. What if Kremlo, sadly, is not with the other Slan, but one of the other Slan does remember Kremlo and summons him as a as a thought demon? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. the Tintin one. Uh, can we... Uh, one day. That's okay. Um, right, we can... Um, Sergeant Mario's got this city on lockdown. But we could have just lightning struck the army outside. It's not how lightning strike works anymore. What? Lightning strike just increases the... Um, the countdown on reinforcements arriving. Oh, really? Interesting. Um, interesting. Yeah, that's, that Tintin thing is so good. Uh, tier 3 lightning strikes. A, what is a J Jif? Oh. <laughs> Bring it up. Okay. Boom. Oh. oh, it's so fucking good. That's just fantastic. Oh man, I want, I want like a poster of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now I want to see like Tintin in every like part of the old world and beyond. You know, all the different would be great places. Uh, Tintin in um, Nagarond. Tintin in Sylvania. Yeah, just <laughs> so fucking good. Like, cause I think I've shown it before on here, but have you ever seen the uh, the Tintin Cthulhu? Which these <laughs> just really nice versions oh. of. Oh shit! We'll have to wait for TJ to take down that one. Oh yeah. Thanks for sh bringing that up. It's so really nice. fucking nice. But it's like Tintin at the Mountains of Madness. <laughs> um, like these fake. <laughs> they look so legit, though, don't they? Like they look so authentic. Um, so I think like. They uh, they looked so good that the person who made these mm -hmm. originally they like took them down because they think they got threatened by oh shit by the Tintin company the, <laughs> by big Tintin Corp um, and they're like do not do this you're not allowed um, and so now you can't find them on their like oh right, on their original own, like, website, website or whatever um, oh, I love it they're really cool I really want to get like a big 
big picture of one of That's these. my favorite one, I think. It's just so simple. It looks so mm. much like a Tintin book. And like, but also without the monster, because obviously, like, Lovecraftian horror is usually better when you can't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, big fan. Man, I really, really like Tintin. Tintin and Innsmouth is a bit of a mouthful. Isn't Tintin it? and Innsmouth. It's, uh, yeah, that's a real. That's a lot of ins. That's a lot of in syllables. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're really, really good fun. Uh, I would love, love to have just some big, big painting, like just a big, like A3 poster. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. Or you could get all eight of these printed out in normal size and put them in like one big frame. Oh, like that'd be really cute. And actually make them look like books. Mm. Um, yeah, I really like the that that style. And yeah, that Lizard Man one is super fucking rad Yeah, as well. that can go on the list as well. Um, I wonder if they've done any more. Is there like a credit on now? Who done it? Um, oh, we'll look it up later. Very cool. Uh, a scheme worthy of Skarsnik. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to break this. Oh. That's annoying. Can I get past? No. What are you trying to do? I'm trying. To get just walk past this settlement and go for. The well, path. should we just take that on our way? Well, it'll really slow us down because it's going to be like a close victory. So we're going to have to take a couple of turns to like, heal up okay. for me. So, oh, look, now I've sieged it. Now I can sneak past with Sergeant Mario. And then Skarsnik can unsiege it. And then he can head down too. We can okay. bypass it completely. <laughs> what a wacky system. Just taking it in turns. Get our siege on. Um, Two in one. This way. I've got plans. He's got plans, Tom. And these new Groblins, they need names. Oh, nice. Uh, Blamo. Uh, soup Kitchen. Uh, Laney Row. And Ranpuff. And a succubus haze. Perfect. You are all in. Excellent goblin names. Now, one goblin hut. He won't. He won't be able to take this down, will he, with that little army? No, I think we'll be all right. Okay. Right. Um. Uh. So. Uh. George. Um, uh, at least 24 bucks. Thank you, George Air. Mm. They say bot Tom and bend over. Oh. Uh, hello. Hello. I just finished my last exam for my last year of uni. Uh, which hopefully gets me my mechanical engineering Meng degree. Oh. Uh, time to relax with the hilarious nonsense that is the Warhammer stream. Mm. Also, can I have some Kun tea? Chatting. Chatting. <laughs> That's one of Duncan's emotes. Is that a thing? Duncan. Doing a tea. Tea posing Duncan. Okay. It's a, it's a cunty. Look, there it is. Loads of cunties in chat. <laughs> cunty. Wow. <laughs> okay. Love it. Very good. What, a, what an emote. <laughs> just, just doing a tea pose. Wow. Okay. What else would you call it? I don't know. <laughs> but I like it. Uh, uh, and Chris Kempshaw did six bucks. Thank you, Chris Kempshaw. They say, T&B. Uh, last week, Ben did a dramatic reading of my book. And we all had a great time. Yeah, we did. Uh, then I watched his Tiananmen Square simulator on Empire at War. Now I have to rewrite the whole thing because someone is a war criminal. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, we played Empire at War as the rebels, and we had to we had to murder a lot of people um, to win that war. But 
they were they were armed, so they, they were legitimate targets. Did you? Is this the like you killed them and then like threw a gun on the floor? <laughs> he had a gun. You all saw it. They all saw it, Tom. They were resisting freedom. Wow. I was bringing freedom. Okay. And they were they were refusing freedom, so the tanks did run some of them over. Right. Okay. But you know, we sent a message. It's like uh, what was that fucking the big robot called? Liberty Prime. <laughs> yeah. Freedom is non-negotiable. <laughs> <laughs> um. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, wow. Okay. They were civ villains. Civ villains. Okay. Villains. Okay, civ villains. Exactly. Makes sense. Death is preferable to communism. Oh yeah. <laughs> God, every every line from that boy is a banger. Liberty Prime. <laughs> Fucking great boy. Yeah. Do you know when he gets fucking shot, though? Ooh. Oh, it was sad. That's mm -hmm. like the... Does he get killed in that, or is it in the DLC that he gets killed? They no, they like bring five... him down in the final battle of the original yeah. campaign, right? Do they? No. It's in the, like, Operation Anchorage one or something. That's a prequel. The... It's in the DLC. It's in the dies. DLC. Oh, shit. I remembered him going down, like on the, is it on the power plant or the bridge or something like that. I can't remember. It's when you're attacking the um, broken steel. That's the uh, one. Ah, that's right. The what was it called? Like the Fort Adams Air Base thing. The big air base on tracks, mm -hmm. and they've got the sky missile launch. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> it gets a bit wacky. Unfortunately, Krishnak is a coward. And has just spent the last two turns running away from Skarsk. Yeah, that's because he knows what's going to happen. You're going to come and steal his fucking base. Yeah, so I think we have to go back and manually take all of his territory because he's refusing okay. to fight us. You can do it. Prick. He's only got two settlements. So I think he's going to run off and get killed by the dwarves before we catch him. Okay, well, yeah, just take his base instead. Um, make him bleed. Make him bleed. Give us the ring around, run around. Uh, so, Big Kenneth. Uh, Big Kenneth. Then it's five bucks. Thank you, Big Kenneth. Thank you. Is a hi, Tom, and hey, Ben. Mm. Uh, glad to see you playing Total Warhammer again. Uh, please name a fantastic slash great slash good slash adequate plus slash poor slash dog shit unit after me, please. Oh, we can definitely give you one of those. Uh, P.S. I've been working on my 30k boys recently. Ooh. What do you think? Uh, Tom will probably be bored because they're space marines. I like seeing, um, you know, other people's painty things. Ooh. Oh, he looks cool. He's cool. He's done nice bases. Uh, bam. There we go. Oh, I like your Thunderhammer guy. He's fun. Oh, he looks great. And Terminators. Oh, who are the black and yellow guys? Raven wings. Guard. No, they're... Uh, are the mortar fires? Mortar factors? But they're heresy boys, right? I don't know. Oh, you got Death Guard? Oh. Are you doing all the legions? Every legion. You do your own little heresy. Oh, reenact the whole thing. Oh, they're destroyers. Destroyers are always black. They're the guys who get all the naughty weapons. Like rad bombs and phosphex and... All the banned war crime weapons go to the destroyers. Oh. So they have to wear black because it's a solemn duty to, you know, depopulate. Right. Continents. Okay. That's why they're all holding dual flamethrowers and shit. Holy shit. Dual flamethrowers is kind of rare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Real cool. So wait. Oh, because they're in the, the Death Guard. Yeah. It says at the top. I, I remember. Um, super cool. Painted bases. These guys are looking real, yeah, real nice. Very nice. Man, Mark III armor is the best armor. It's by far the best uh, armor. Try and change my mind. Oh, yikes. Decisive victory. Hang on, what? Thorgrim oh. Grudgebearer hates them. Oh, let's fucking fight this. So, Thorgrim is attacking the city we were about to take. And because we're not at war with the dwarves and we are at war with the bloody spears we've turned up as allies on his side we are definitely fighting this <laughs> can we 
use fanatics on him. One hundred percent, we're gonna try. Can we also, if we take the city, do we get to keep it at the end of the battle? Oh, I don't know what the rule is. But we certainly will fanatic him. I, I want to see that. Definitely going to try and use my fanatics on him immediately. Uh, Hey, Thorgrim, I'll help you fight those yeah, orcs. We'll hold up the rear. You just get, stand right there. A little bit closer. Uh, okay. Let's not get any of our boys killed, though. Like, let's not run into those um, walls and get shot. Okay. Does he have a, He must have a war machine with him, right? Because... Oh, no, it's not a proper city with walls. Or is it? I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, how can he move in and attack it straight away? Okay. A little helicopter. Oh. How are we meant to fight this army this early? Do you know what I mean? He's got, like, a full <laughs> yeah, stack of long roads. Okay, it is, like, a lot of miners. There's, they do have one unit of hammers. Both great weapons. Obviously not that big a problem. Okay, I think the miners the only main... The hammers are the biggest problem for us. Okay. Should we drop all the fanatics on them then? <laughs> Chances are by the time we actually war them, we'll... Uh, Battle will be over by the time we actually turn up. Yeah. How long till we arrive? Okay, 40 seconds. Hmm. Uh, Leorkan has donated. Thank you so much. And they say, top and bottom. Hey, hey. Hello. Really good to see you back warring and hammering again. I was a bit miffed that I didn't get to uh, Golden Demon tickets, so I dug out something not GW to paint and started a new bust as well. Boos, boos. Oh. No, you had to get tickets. I don't know how Golden Demon works anymore. It used to just be part of Games Day. Yeah. I don't think that exists anymore. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Oh wow, this is cool. Um, put that in the chat. Big old snail boy. I love it. It's like a snail with He's a little very, castle built on the back. Very cool. He's a cool guy. I love his shield. Good old sweet knight. Oh my god, how do you see that face looks very good. Mmm. Save some painting for the rest of us. I know, right? So greedy with the painting. Yeah, it's good to paint different things. Try out different stuff every now and again. Good for you. Thank you. Jibbles. Jibble donates. And they say, Ben Edgar Ben and Tom Clark Tom. Hello. Would you rather have your eyes in your ass cheeks or only one eye, and it's where your belly button is. A one-eye belly button, I reckon. It's a bit more practical, isn't it? Yeah. Otherwise, you'd have to, like, cut holes in your pants and walk around backwards all day. Mm. People will ask questions. Also, just sitting down. Mm. And I like sitting down. I like sitting down a lot. I guess you'd have to get some, like, real funky, like, goggles. Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> uh, dangerously close to your poo. Oh, oh my no. God. The serial pink eye that you'd be suffering. Oh, jeez. Especially every time you sit on a toilet. You're just yeah. like closing your eyes going, oh, my oh, God. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> the splashback when you yeah. drop your load. <laughs> oh, my just God. Not, it's just not the dream. Do not want that. Yeah, there's only one, one sensible choice there. Belly button eye. You'd have to just cut all... You'd have to go like... Just wear midriff tops, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's fine. You like crop tops. Mm. Can you be a bit like Krang from Turtles? Maybe just full lean into it and just always wear a Krang cosplay. <laughs> yeah. People would like take and you people seriously would be like, at that It's point. weird that he always wears that Krang cosplay, but that'd be less weird than he's the fucking belly button eye guy. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Full Krang. <laughs> Jeez, those goblin archers. Did you see the firebombs just, like, killed 90% of them? Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> we are real close to be able to do a... Uh... 
do some good work here. What would happen if you had like a real big roast dinner and your tummy got all big and full? Would your eye be like bulging? I guess it'd out? get when you like you get your like eyes puffy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's my choice. And then they just say, Kremlo! Kremlo! Next time, Kremlo! What are we doing? Um, Paradise Kuna has donated. Thank you very much. Well, uh, before that, are you ready? Oh, yeah! The friendly fire. The most friendly of fires. Get them, boys. What? 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 <gasps> Have they thought of this? Have they patched it out? You motherfuckers. If that's the case, <laughs> worst game. Worst game of oh the year. Oh my god. That's bullshit. If I'm not allowed to fucking <laughs> stab a dwarf in the back playing as a <laughs> goblin. Oh, very disappointing. Oh, don't. Oh, zero out of ten. Like, maybe it's because it tried to clip the wall or something. It could be that we're on a bridge. Let's get over the bridge. Just bugged out. Remember, this is like the uh, That's uh, true. early access. We're playing a, a beta, beta build. There will be fucky stuff happening. Uh, so Paradise Kuna says, song request when you reach Karak 8 Peaks to the tune of Three Lions. Crescent on the shield, gobbler's teeth oh, still gleaming. Working. Yay! Yeah. No more years of hurt, no more need for scheming. <laughs> wow. Gobbler's coming home. Gobbler's coming home. Love He's it. coming home. Oh, what a good, what a good boy. Scroll sneaks coming home. I like that. Oh, I think they've already got it. They had a lot of units here before yeah. I could get up here. Oh shit! I'm annoyed that like now a very strong person we don't want to declare war on has got a major territory next to our capital. Yeah. This is strategically bad. But we did get to fanatic them in the back, <laughs> so that's fun. Uh, Banana Super King, thank you so much for donating. You say Boris Tombringer and generic Empire level Lord Nine. We'll call him Ben. <laughs> Glad to see you all on the new release. At some point, would really love to see the Brothers Doomborn Two Electric Boogaloo. Back to the pile. It's really wriggling with excitement today. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, I want to try out the new Chaos Warriors, for sure. I need to test them out first, though. I haven't had time. Um, I want to try them a bit off-camera so we know what the, all the new mechanics do and how they work. Um, but maybe after this campaign. Yeah. They're certainly on the list. Do you think this will make us friends with the dwarves? Do you think they'll like us for, like, helping? I don't know if this specific <laughs> bit will. <laughs> Oh. Okay, I think if the terrain is at all oh, geez. wacky, Anything that's it not doesn't flat. really work. I mean, that's the way it always worked in tabletop. They insta died if they touched any terrain. But they could go on, like, hills, right? Oh, yeah. I think they probably could. All right, and click on the black. Thank you for donating 20 bucks. That's very generous. Appreciate that. And he just says, We is gobbos! We is gobbos. The most gobbo y of all. Uh, Arkrest has donated 30 bucks, which is incredibly generous. Thank you, Arkrest. And they say, Ben Snick and Tombler. Great to see the beginnings of an immortal wah. <laughs> With the new crafting mechanic, we Vod Gobbos have compressed two pearls together. They made a crown of command. It's Ooh. greasy for easy, easy wearing. Very nice. <laughs> That's handy, because then when you stab the warlord in the back, it can pop off. And oh, the new, yeah. new warlord can slide it on. 
Yeah, that's the that's the dream. Because that's gonna happen a lot. Okay, just want to see where these guys end up. What's going on? Because I want to <laughs> I want to fanatic them one more time. <laughs> right, of course. Uh, where are they going? So did we trick them into fighting our enemies, or did they trick us into fighting their enemies? <laughs> I'd like to say it's the former. <laughs> God, they barely lost anyone, did they? <laughs> Man, what happened? It's real good. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we dealt more casualties to them <laughs> yeah. than uh, the bloody spears did. <laughs> yeah, at all. Oh, look at that! The Arachnorok's got 25 kills somehow. I guess he's got the bow. Maybe we chased some chased someone down. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll bloody hell, the dwarves outnumbered the orcs. Yeah, they lost 117. That is not 117. Mm. That's like, what, 40, 50 tops? Oh, wow, so we like, doubled their kill count. <laughs> That's good scheming. That is good scheming. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, one of those goblin units got 125 kills. <laughs> Who was that glorious Ooh. hero of a gobbo? <laughs> Wow, Kigna! <laughs> Holy shit, was that dwarf kills? It must have been. There's no way he killed off that many greenskins. That's amazing. It's basically like a unit's worth. Man, I do think if we had an, if we had more uh, skulkers, nasty skulkers, we could take that army. Hmm. Okay, we can recruit some more. We just need a bunch more of those. Mm -hmm. um, and anything else, anything else with armor piercing. All right, oh. Let's do it. Let's get some XP. Sadly, he does take Mount Squigorn. Oh, he it did take it. Oh, shit. Mm. He's going to raise it. Well, we need to grab the high place then. A sap. Yeah. Hmm. God, we wasted so much time chasing that warlord around. Yeah. I didn't think he was going to be such a coward. Sad. Uh, Slidermizer's back. Good stuff. We've got sharper stabbers. Nice. Great stuff. Uh, what do we want now? I'm tempted by the growth. I think early game growth is just really good. Um, we could get a bit of extra melee attack. Mm. Healy mushrooms, pretty good too. Yeah, it would be fancy. Get some growth. Right. Um. Let's get so, uh, Chonkarino donates five bucks. Thank you, Chonkarino. Thank you, Chonkarino. They torment Ben. It's usually a bot gobbo, but now I want to be a live gobbo. <laughs> uh, can I be something chonky? Or otherwise something suitably gobbly? Goblin y? Uh. Nice. Uh, bam. You're in. You're in. You did it. Chunkarina, you're a, you're a grobo. He's grobos. Okay, so the only way we could lay siege was to have the small army up front. Okay. Um, but we can front load it. If you just want to auto, auto it and take some... Yeah. Like, were we going to lose any um, units? I don't think so. No. Crunch. Uh, occupy. Kill. Like, just take it over and just start, like, trying to recruit with the little... Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Five units of Skulkers. 
What more could you want? Um, actually, we better give him wizard stuff first, otherwise he's pointless. Um, what do you want? Itchy nuisance. Melee attack and weapon damage down. That's pretty good. Gorkle fix it slows them down. Vindictive glare is a bit of a sketchy I think itchy, magic missile. itchy nuisance because against um, dwarf, I'm yeah. just imagining we're going to be doing World War Dwarf pretty soon. Yeah, and, it'll be grim. Um, Thor grim. Thor grim. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, we got it. We got it going on. Uh, uh, and uh, soup kitchen. Uh, then it's ten bucks. Thank you, soup kitchen. Thank you, soup kitchen. And they say today I get to be a stream vermin because I got COVID. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know. I put uh, your videos on in the background for my dog oh. while I'm at work. So there's at least one dog in the Gobo pile. <laughs> I hope this is enough to buy you both a pint. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Soup Kitchen. Um, uh, I always dreamed one day I would be a dog entertainer. That's the that's the dream. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what uh, do you do? Stop a dog getting bored. <laughs> I entertain dogs for a living. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of, you know, it's a niche. Someone's got to do it. It's kind of a fun, Probably. fun thing. What's your dog called? Good boy. <laughs> Roll over. Choose something expensive. <laughs> yes. Vomit on the sofa. Vomit <laughs> on the sofa. Now try and bury it. <laughs> uh, is, that, is that helping? <laughs> uh, perfect. Uh, yeah, we don't, I don't know if we want to do that just yet. Yeah. Um... Hmm. Oh, oh. This, we could sneak in and snipe Mount Squighorn. But that will start World War Dwarf. Let's see how he feels about us right now. Bad. He likes Very that bad. we killed the orcs. He hates that we exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, little, little column, a, column A. Little column B. I don't think we're going to be from. We're not going to be from. He also hates that we walked out of that territory that we helped him conquer. I don't know exactly what you wanted us to do more, Thorgrim. <laughs> we left, but that's given us like minus 70. Oof. Fuck me. Okay. Um, I mean, this guy's coming for us because he's lost all of his territory, so he will just. Hopefully he goes for Thorgrim, but I guess just hang. hang Probably will go for us. Heal up. Keep recruiting goblins. Yeah. Uh, Laney Road. Uh, donates 10 bucks. Thank you, Laney Road. Thank you, Laney And they say, hello, Tarman, man. Hello. Where's Gobbo's today? Wow. Uh, uh, we are. Wow. But thank you. Thank you, Road. Welcome to the party. Does this thing not give us uh, a recruit? And Ranpuff. Uh, thanks for the 10 bucks. They say, Tom and Ben, that's mm. you guys trying out Immortal Empires ahead of release and back on Scarsnick 2. Chop me up. We is Gobbos. We is Gobbos. We is definitely Gobbos. I love being Gobbos. It's so good. Um, should we start giving, giving out some, some scrap? What can we do? We can do heavy ammo. What does that is, do? Um, plus three armor piercing damage. Yeah, maybe. Maybe like just get all the archers with heavy ammo. Uh, plus 10 melee attack against infantry. Terrible. Perfect vigor. How much scrap have we got? Only f only 56. What the fuck? I think we started with like 30. <laughs> oh. What? Uh, okay, fungus flasks. Oh, this gives them Skarsnik's death. Chance. Right, okay. So once you hit someone in melee with these boys, they get that debuff. Not bad. Um, Does it have to be melee? I don't know. Could we it be on a ranged unit. We'll have to wait and see when we get a Night Goblin Archer unit, I suppose. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, we spent 50 on technology. Ah. Uh, okay. So Maybe. we can have two units of heavy arrows. Maybe. It's better than nothing, isn't it? Um, uh, Succubus Haze. Denny's 10 bucks. Thank you, Succubus Haze. Thank you. Say, Mr. Tom, Mr. Ben, I have wonderful news. Thanks to Immortal Empire's naming list, uh, I've seen an ogre lord running around being called Chungus. <laughs> Live in the green. <laughs> uh, That's what I would call an ogre lord. Just Chungus. Chungus. 
Um, okay, I like that. Jogus. <gasps> Jogus smash. It's me, Jogus. <laughs> um, I do like ogres. I think ogres another another red hot go at some point. Like just parking, parking in the empire somewhere. Yeah, one of them starts in the empire. I think it's Scrag. I don't like yeah. Scrag as much. I wonder if there's a mod. I hope someone makes a mod or is able to make a mod where you can swap um, start positions. Oh yeah. Because being able to play Greasus but in the in the in Scrag start location, or being able to play. Um, the Zinch Chaos Lord. Oh, yeah. In a different he, spot. God, it feels like you could play a Zinch character, a Chaos character, anywhere that a Chaos person might yeah, start. Yeah, just pop, pop. It doesn't feel too unthematic. Pop him up where Archeon starts or something like that. Um, I'll be up for that. Uh, oh, Thorgrim just wiped that, that guy. Well, that saves us a problem. Do you feel ready to, to do it? We, we could literally attack him this turn. Oof. We've got obviously Skarsnik oh, stack. Power level Z. And we've got ten units of Skulkers in there. He I feel like we probably could take that. I feel like we should win that. I feel like the longer we leave it, the tougher it's going to be. The tougher it's going to be. But what? How big and strong is he? Oh yeah. Um, Seventy-five. Oh god, we're one hundred and thirty though. Okay. Well, seeing as he's seventy-five, that means that those are probably like his. Two armies. Maybe he's got a third one somewhere else. Yeah. How many territories did he have? Oh, uh, I just want to know how. Three. Including that one he just conquered. So he's only got his capitals like here. We could just fucking do World War Dwarf. Before he becomes the super global superpower. I'm kind of into that. Hmm. Well, we got to go on a quick break, but we will see what happens. Uh, if we do go into the dwarf and backstab him after yeah. we were noble allies. The noblest of allies. <laughs> noblest. <laughs> definitely friendly. Um, so, yeah, we will be back in uh, five minutes or so. Mm -hmm. um, we'll still be reading your messages, playing some more of this. Yep, yep, yep. Stay tuned. See, See you soon. Ban, 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 ban. Tom, 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 Tom. Welcome back, everybody. <gasps> Welcome back. Uh, it's a little bit of um, Tom and Ben After Dark. <gasps> oh, my God, it is After Dark. We haven't done After Dark for a while. No, so we're still not going to be going too late, but we'll probably be doing another sort of like hour, hour and a half mm -hmm. kind of uh, amount of time. Yep, um, yep. Playing a little little bit more. Um, more guys, Nick. We have a gift, Ben. This is a what? gift sent from... Relics. Relics. Thank you for the gift. Well, let's not thank him yet, actually. So we'll uh, see what it is. <laughs> where, uh, look, it's just what you always wanted. A bundle of newspaper. Oh, my God. I haven't seen a newspaper for 30 years, Tom. Uh, where did they find it? I don't know. But would you like to unwrap? Would you like to unwrap your gift? I don't know. Do I want to? Do I want to? Probably. Gifts are always fun, right? It's not a foot. Are you sure it's not? Did you check it wasn't a foot? I don't think it's a foot. But it could be a foot. Something's a foot. <gasps> oh, gotta be careful not to break it. Oh my god! It's. Lacrell! Can we get a zoom? Is that possible? Because if I put it too close to the camera, the light won't be on it. It's Krell, painted up as like a French Napoleon guy. He's got like, got like a Napoleon la la, it is me, Lacrell! How do I get this in focus? Okay, here we go. I'll hold it still, and then TJ can work his wow. magic. It's la crelle. Oh la la, sacre bleu, la révolution. Boom, la crelle. <laughs> I can't believe someone made this. It is I, la crelle. <laughs> sacre bleu. Sacre bleu, Heinrich. Madame Guillotine will feed well tonight. We're off to Le Montreal Abbey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Uh, Lacrell, amazing. Oh, very, very cool. He's even got he's got a baguette on the base. Oh, vive Lacrell. Yeah, well, he ate it, but that's the problem with the skeletons. Oh, nom, nom, nom. And then just through. pulls out the ribcage. <laughs> he's got a box of Le Snock bars. <laughs> Le Snock bars. Famous uh, hit reporter and candy maker, <laughs> Le Snock. Oh, he's amazing. Real cool. Who gets to keep him? I think we put it in the cabinet in the office. Uh, oh, yeah. Farewell, TJ. Thank Good you night, TJ. Thank you for your help. Um, oh. Yeah, there's like a big, big cabinets full of toys. I'm amazed the banner survived. Yeah. Because he's like a real old lead model. Yeah, it's real nice. <laughs> what was the banner added? Did Krell have his own banner? I think he had a banner. I mean, it wasn't a French flag, obviously. I don't um, know if he did have a banner. Almost every model had a banner back in the day, didn't they? That was pretty standard. There he is. He does have a banner. Wow. Fucking Krell. Perfect. Fucking great. Fucking good. Thank you. I love, I love a novelty miniature. They're the best. Right, so what I've done here is I've slowed down Thorgrim's army okay. so that now he can't get out of here. He can't make it to the Pillars of Grungy. Yeah, but can you make it to Squighorn and get reinforcements he could so do we just fucking go in we do have um Skarsnik's army's like 70 percent health do you want to do a turn of healing and a turn of recruitment Me. before we get in or do you just want to go 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 i always feel like it's better just to go because if he gets the reinforcements like how big is mount squick Hall's garrison plus the like six units that are in there we'll be fighting 12 mm. more units and I think us being 30% down on half our army yeah. is better than them getting 30% uh, extra units. Okay. Uh, can we name all of these nasty skulkers? Oh my god, maybe. Do we have enough generous supporters, old goblins? Uh, Inquisitor Bot Ben's minion. Uh, Inquisitor Bot. There won't be enough room. Thank you. Uh, Anklagon the Black. Perfect. Uh, sketch this wave. You are in. And Mahons. Mahons. And Ospon. Ospon. I'm expecting great deeds from all of you. Many dwarves must be shanked here. Uh, Captain Cavefish. This could honestly, like, devastate. If we win this, like... Yeah, um, the dwarf good. Well, that's it. If we wipe this army out, that's it. The main dwarves are just out of the game, you know? This is, like, really nipping it in the bud early, early doors. Yeah. But I am worried. Uh, so the last one was Soup Kitchen. The next one's Levix. Two more. Uh, piss on Margaret Thatcher Grav. <laughs> okay, and then one more. Uh, and then the next one is Christoph the Magnificent. Welcome aboard. Everyone's here. Come on in, gobos. Do we want to swap? Some units out, maybe? Who's going to do the launch the uh, first attack? Skarsnik. I... Should we just take all the regular gobos out and put the skulkers in? Yeah. Yeah. Like that? Uh, I'd almost... We want to keep those. We want to keep archers. Regular boys. Like, it might make sense to... Oh, you swap out healthy boys. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. Right. He might just retreat. What? Declare war. Declaring war on the primary dwarf faction is like a... Spooky, spooky time. Real spooky button to press. Like, the balance of power looks pretty good. Oh, oh he did retreat. He did retreat. Fuck. Now he is going to be in reinforcement range. I don't know if he is. Well, then now we have to launch the attack with the other army. That's fine. I'm a I'm special. 
Oof. Okay. Oh no, he's got reinforcements. Fuck. I was hoping that when I slowed him down with Slide Demiser, we, we can't do this. We literally can't do this. Close to feet. Because we've got to wait 1 minute 50 for Skarsnik to turn up with the actual army. Oh. Well, it's not like he has a ton of range stuff. We could give it a go. We, we could just back up, and then the garrison won't be in range, and he'll attack us. He won't come and attack us. I think he will, because he's odds on to beat us. No, because he won't attack both of our armies. Because he retreated. Only to get the reinforcements in range. Hmm. Shit. I think we have to back off, but if you think you can do it. Hmm. I mean, he hasn't got any war machines, so we can wait for Skarsnik to turn up. Right? Yeah. But now all of our weak units are the first. Some of those are going to have to die before the rest of the reinforcements turn up. Oh, no, no. No, they won't. We, can, we get everything, don't we? There's no um, second wave. Ambush mode is kind of smart. I don't think we've got enough movement to ambush mode. Oh. Hmm. If we back off, he won't get those six units at the bottom if he comes back to attack us. But if he just goes and sits in there or just hangs out and just recruits more more units mm. with Logan Iron Pick. Or is this like a cheeky, you know, just do a reload and don't start World War Dwarf yet and get the heal and recruit the five more units. Yeah, that's probably smart because we we, did, the, we just didn't think about um, yeah, I the, see the that retreat. You, you couldn't retreat. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think about it. It's obvious he was going to retreat looking back now. Um, we should have... I think it could have been winnable. If you want to give it a go, we can. I feel like maybe just giving it a red hot go. Just okay. a little red hot go. Just see, just get a feel for it at least. Okay. This is a vision from Zinch. You know, sure. Zinch works in mysterious ways. Uh, We're in Skarsnik's mind palace right yeah. now. He's planning how to defeat the dwarves. He's there. He's there with Goblin. Theoretical. <laughs> how do we beat the dwarves? <laughs> Practical. Practical. <laughs> um, Stab him. Stab him. Stab him in the eyes. Get a scheme. <laughs> yeah. That kind of thing. Right. Uh, uh. Okay. Uh, his scheming palace. <laughs> his scheming palace. Okay, we've got a nice hill. There's mm. a little camp. Ooh, we didn't make that. We stole it. Yeah, of course we did. <laughs> oh. Boo. Okay, we just need to not die for two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> probably be right. It'd take them two minutes to walk up this hill, probably. Yeah. They are not coming off the hill. Oh, they're going to hang back? I guess because they want their reinforcements as well. <laughs> yeah, fair. Can't argue with that. Hmm. Right, where do we get to on the on the donos? I've got to read these. Um, Inquisitor Bot Ben's minion, thank you for donating. You say, Timothy Benjamin, it brings every heavy gets for the Gobbo Horde here in an Umi get that I hear you guys love. And then he's done a link. Gremlo came from space. Why can't I get this link? Give me that link. Uh, does not exist. What? Oh, I missed one of the letters off. Sorry, my bad. Uh, What's going on here? Let's try that again. I've undone. Undone everything. Right, grab. 
There we go. Hmm. Sorry, Inquisitor Bot, but your link is not working. It's a bad link. It's a bad link. I can't, I can't see. But thank you for the donation. Um, Sketch This Wave has donated. Thank you very much. And they say, Tom, Ben, during What's New in Warhammer, you were squinting at some Warcry models in a little picture. But there's the actual reveal here. Gobo me up. Oh. Oh, they must have just cast Warriors. Facebook or something. I think maybe we just didn't look at one of the previews because it was for Warcry. Oh. Um, oh, here they are. Yeah, they look like weird off-brand Chaos Warriors, don't they? Yeah. Hmm. Don't know about these lads. But they do have the... the centroid. Centroid, who might be a, some kind of arachnid, since he has eight limbs. He does have eight limbs. It's a lot of limbs. Yeah. Thank you for the link. Uh, Mahons, thank you for donating Mahons. Mahons. You say hello, Villitech Ben, and Thomin Tom. Hope you're doing well. I'm really looking forward to playing Warhammer Total War 3 when it finally releases with Immortal War, Immortal Empires Beta. Also, Village had long ago absorbed his brother Thomin's mind and power, taking full control of his mindless body. Oh, he's talking about that Chaos Warrior with yeah. the with the little fella. Um. That's less fun than them being two of them. Yeah. I do want to play as them. I just don't want to be on that part of the map. So hopefully we can we can mod that and have some fun. Um, Osborne's done it ten bucks. Thank you, Osborne. Thank you, Osborne. Says, hey, boyos, still enjoying my vacation. So some money from me. <gasps> Thank you. Is that how vacations work? I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> I've not paid anyone any money when <laughs> What the heck? Sorry. Uh, Caveman Fish, thank you for donating. And they say, long time Vod Godboy, but first time stream vermin. Stick my name on something, will ya? We shall. We shall do that. Thank you. They're just going to sit there. Yeah, I just have to like work out exactly kind of where I want certain units. Because if our lines just collide, I just want to make sure they're matching up. We've got to get those skul some of those skulkers in the flanks and rear. They get a huge boost to flank attacks. Yeah, but I want just some who are going to go head on into some of the warriors just because the spears are not going to do. No, the spears won't last long. Uh, the most damage. Uh, Christoph the Magnificent has donated 20 bucks. Christoph, thank you, Sean. Thank you so much. That's super generous. You say, Dibbles and Bibbles, I have a magnificent game you must try. Oh my god, I hope that one doesn't stick. <laughs> Dibbles and Bibbles. <laughs> um, a pixel graphic turn based strategy RPG with insane difficulty and in music that is better than it deserves. The Last Spell. It's super cool and has zombies. Ah. I think I've played, like, the last spell for about an hour. I haven't given it a proper go. But the trailer looked amazing. I don't think I know it. It's the one that looks like a dark nighttime. They are billions. But you're controlling, like, a fantasy, like, town with heroes who defend it with their magic powers. I think you'd recognize it if you saw it. Hmm. Um, Interesting. I think you played it. Lewis played it for sure. You might have played it. Um, Tom played it. Pranat, the last spell. I don't remember. I have no memory of this. Uh, hey, can I, uh... It looks... Yeah, yeah, that would be better than me showing it to you on my phone. The wave assaulted oh, by zombies. Oh, I do remember this. And you can trigger different powers of your heroes, and you have like you build up the town. Uh, I don't think I did do a a brand deal on this. 
Mm. But I remember when it came out um, and wanted to wanted to play it. Did I play it? <laughs> Maybe I did. I play a lot of games. <laughs> you really do. Like a lot of games. Sometimes I forget games that I've played. Um, yeah, I, uh, I haven't given it a proper chance. Looks cool. But I think when I tested it out, I wasn't really in the right mood for it. I should go back. Uh, Savien has donated 30 bucks. Savien. Super generous. Thank you so much. And they say, Fnatic hopped up on Good Shroom's Tom. Nice. And Big Botch watching him plow through a unit of friendly stabbers Ben. Oh, no. <laughs> Finally got time to finish up a diorama for my sisters of battle. I think it turned out really well. <coughs> oh, really? Nice. Uh, boom. Oh, there it is. Sorry, it didn't appear for a second. I <laughs> thought it was nothing. Uh, let's get a zoom. Oh, I like the diorama board. What's their little That's wagon? cool. What is it? Oh, it's got a, a lady lying down. I think it's like a hospital wagon. Oh, nice. What's the thing at the back? Have they got like a little robot friend? Not sure. Robo, robo friend? I also don't recognize that predator turret. Where's that from? It's like the rounded one, the old school sort of style. Yeah, it's in the old style, but it uh, doesn't look quite like the GW version. Is it like a 3D print or something? Um, yeah, very cool. Oh, you've done them with berets from the um, uh, the Scions box. Oh, cool. That's fun. Yeah, it is like a little robot dog carrying their ammo and stuff with them. Oh, that's nice. The, like the big dog. Yeah. Which is kind of terrifying. Very cool. Thank you for sharing. Are these guys just going to keep fucking around? Come and fight me. Ooh, Inquisitor Bot met Ben's minions page has loaded now. <clears throat> oh. He's got a Dark Angel. Who looks really cool. That's a nice paint job, dude. It does look nice. Very, like, oh. old school Dark Angel. Yeah, I like it. I like the checkers. He looks great. Very cool. We is Gobbo. They are Gobbo. They know. They know what they is, Tom. Oh, and yeah, these look fantastic. Oh, excuse me. These look fantastic. Like your your heavy weapon boys. God, I need to finish painting mine. I've had a real lull recently. It's been hot. It has been hot. It was the paint when it's hot. No, paint dries so quickly when it's hot. Mm. I spent the last two weeks trying to do a bike squadron, and it's just just making no progress at all. Oh, is this enough? Enough to wind them up? Oh, are they coming? Are they attacking, or are they just shifting? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> What's happening? Goblins doing goblins. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hasn't been like a, a film with goblins in for a long time. You know, just horrible little spiteful goblins <laughs> being pricks. Yeah. <laughs> we need we need some more of that. We need to get back to basics here with gobbos. Maybe we'll get some in the um, the new Lord of the Rings TV show. Oh yeah. Man, I don't really want that to be good. Yeah. That would be the dream. Fingers crossed. Um, Soup Kitchen has donated a second time and says I forgot to add a photo of my vod doggo. 
you see a Vod Doggo. Vod Doggos? All Vod Doggos are good Doggos. Oh! Oof. They're a big one. Oh, you have a tiny sofa. Which do you think it is? We're getting, um... Oh my god, that is a big doggo. <laughs> what a cute doggo. <laughs> I, I, I feel a little bit offended because your dog doesn't look like it's paying the most attention <laughs> to us. <laughs> it looks a little bored. Well, they took this photo when it's not watching Tom and Ben. Oh, okay. Good. Because otherwise, if they tried to like stand in front of the telly while Tom and Ben were on, they, that's how you get balked at. Right, yeah. That makes sense. They waited until it was sleeping after a, after a good, good vod. Wow, we've got a lot of magic. 88 mana. That's insane. <laughs> sure. What a beautiful, beautiful dog. Thank you for sharing. Um, Levick has donated five bucks and says, too bad the 40k version of goblins are pathetic. Oh, how dare, how dare you? How dare you? They're grots. Grotz is cool. I like Grotz. Grotz is cool. Like the, the Red Gobbo? Oh, yeah. Killer Can are Killer Can still piloted by Grotz? Yeah. Or, or is that Hawks now? No, it's Grotz. Killer Cans are great. Grot Tanks? I love Grot Tanks. Um, cutters? Like the sail? Oh. Sail bikes? Yeah. Okay. You. Should not be fucking fighting a rune priest, as funny as that may be. Fuck that up. Rune priests aren't that good in combat. I reckon you can give him the dripping tips. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know if I want that. Why is that wizard so sad? Wizard. He got into a fight he shouldn't have been in. Oh, dear. Keep running, friend. Uh, oh god. Fuck it. Charge up old Robo Wizard. Um, and uh, Piss on Margaret Thatcher says, the problem with pissing on my grave is that you eventually run out of piss. Quoted Margaret Thatcher. That makes sense. Mm. Um, all, all good things must come to an end. I suppose. Uh, Keegnar has donated again. Thank you, Keegnar. Keegnar. It says, neglected housewife Tom, an extremely handsome cake delivery boy, Ben. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. What kind of raunchy cake-based pornos have you been watching recently? Uh, love it. <laughs> uh, um, how do you deal with Skaven and the chaos pollution as gobos? It's those crumping huts, right? With green schemes. Green pollution, sure. green gobbos. Sure, yeah, yeah, that, 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 makes, that makes sense. Green schemes. I thought you meant like... Mechanically in the game. Mechanically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, should have read it in more of a uh, setup voice. <laughs> Oh shit, sad. Speed Ray. Speed Ray, very sad. Relics. Please, do not die. Was back up though. Oh shit. That was a good one. God, dwarves, man. Especially on very hard. They get such a big morale and 
Yeah, Defense their morale buff. is so high. Look, they're still full morale despite having lost like half their army. Going down, wizard doing wizard things. Uh, oh fuck it, those guys. Just do do your work here. Have a a little gust of wind. Oh fuck, those guys all came back. Oh, Shit. I thought they were going off the board. The balance of power is very slowly creeping up in our favor, though. It's because we use gobos, Ben. We use gobos. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard that. <laughs> okay, he can probably see them off. Just need to try and route this blob. Oh, I, I thought they were like so close to the table edge. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's kind of swung it back in their favor, hasn't it? Uh, okay. Oh, what a mistake of a maker. Uh, can we get Speedray in here, or is he already in here? Speedray is Maybe trying he can, to spooky scare Yeah, I was going to say he can terror bomb them, but he's already there. Is the idea that those guys are going, having a bad day. Have we got any, like, fanatics left to use? Are they long gone? Uh, we do. We do have fanatics. Dare we? Should we? Uh, I might save them, because <laughs> we've still got a couple of bigger blobs to, um, Fair to fight. Uh, wizard, just run. I should wait. You guys get in there. Sure. Ravens, your warriors flee. Classic. The gobos. They are gobos. Some of them are going to flee. I don't mind. Got to make our peace with that, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Should we use those tiny units of spear goblins to chase the guys off the board? Oh, that makes more sense. I was going to use them as speed bumps. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh. Wait, can I well, Mace Gusnick has like not taken any damage yet. He's been fairly in the thick of it mm. for quite a while. Maybe he's fightier than he used to be. Uh, speed ray, speed ray, fine. Cool for us, growing weapons. Okay, go and fucking save the boss. He can drop some spells on himself, right? He can like itchy nuisance. Something. I'm just gonna get these guys to pow, do a stinko, and now run. Ah, while well, he's stanked up. Nice. Run. Run. Fly, fly, you fool. Get up. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. There was a dream there. Uh, where's my gov? My govos? Oh my god, there's still so many big units of dwarves. Oh, does spam clipping help units disengage? It does, yeah. Sometimes you, well, almost every time you tell a unit to disengage, oh, fuck it. it immediately stops trying to disengage because there's an enemy engaged with it. So you have to tell them like three or four times. It's really annoying. Okay, oh, wow. Not, terrible not bad. Not bad. Wizard. Oh, yeah. That'll, that'll be a big help. Okay. Oh, I need the. I can't let those fucking squigs die. No. They're the, like, the only punchy unit we've got. Okay. Everyone else just fucking form up. Speed ray. Just being a spooky, scary boy. Love that. Squiggles. Squiggles are getting out of there. Nice. Is the Runesmith's not their army general, is it? It's Thorgrim. We're never going to kill Thorgrim, are we? We're going to have to no. break his whole army first. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh... They are nasty. Have we, has the other unit got fanatics left? 
They do, but they're a bit fucking balls deep oh, for okay. me to want to um, crack them out. It's just like these units might might die soon. Uh, no, they're okay. Oh, there's some big blobs over there. I don't know if they're close enough. It's a bit far. I'll wait till they're a little bit closer. We, yeah, I just I just don't want to lose the battle before we've used up all three sets, you know? I just need these two units of dwarves to die. Wizard. Come on. Keep chasing. Nice. Mr. Bucketman, good work. You herded those dwarves yeah, off the board real good. Yeah, they just ran after them, jeering. <laughs> yeah. Praying they didn't turn around. Because if they had done, <laughs> yeah. they would have died. But the dwarves just kept hearing, me, we got And they're like, oh, shoot. <laughs> they're all Sounds after like us. There's loads of them. <laughs> yeah. Good jeering, Bucketman. Oh. Okay. Okay, and the other guys. Yes. Fanatics are go. Oh, oh shit. Well, that's like, all right. They don't go where it you. Yeah, it goes a bit wacky. Yeah, it goes a bit wacky. They don't always go where you point them anyway, so <laughs> wouldn't worry about it too much. Oh, spinny boys. We yeah, may as well shoot not. some vindictive glares. We've got so much mana. These dwarves just die. Oh, yeah, we do have a lot of mana. It's annoying that we're both blue flags. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I agree with that. I can't believe you're fucking doing it, Tom. You're actually doing it. A lot of them are breaking. Uh, oh, fucking buff scars like me. Yeah. Let's see if you can wail on Thorgrim. Squiggles, no. And Speed Drake, go and just break units. <sighs> I don't want to commit too many guys to. Oh, God, some of these fucking dudes. Uh, fighting badasses. Oof. Can they kill that guy off? Maybe. Wiggles run. Are any of the fanatics recharged? Yes. Yeah, but I... Oh God, do we just fire into the... No, they're all fleeing. We kind of need them to come back. Yeah. Fair. Stop them. Stop them. Yeah. How are they fighting? Ooh, balance of power's looking good. A lot of his army's fleeing. Oh, I think it's just going to be Thorgrim left in a sec. Oh my god, you're tipping it. It's like one of those arm wrestles where you're just like slowly tipping <laughs> it over. <laughs> very vaguely. Ooh. A lot of that units are perma broken. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Some of the finest Tom work I've ever seen. Uh, we're going to like skip past how many casualties we suffered. <laughs> uh. I'm not going to lie. There was multiple occasions of using goblins as speed bumps. Can we just... Right, uh, control A, right click Thorgrim, and just try and chip down like a ton of his health points before we have to fight him again next time. Because if he comes into the next battle on like 10% health, yeah, that'll make life so much easier. Whoo, stab him, stab him, stab him, stab him. Yeah, get him, boys. <laughs> He's just up there like, this is fine. <laughs> and his boys are like, fucking hell! There's fucking thousands of them! 
<laughs> He's like, I'm just going to read my the book. book. <laughs> Let me know when we're home. This one's going in the book. <laughs> that's a grudge. <laughs> that yeah. you? That's a grudge as well. Go over there. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> oh, don't tell him, Snigrits. <laughs> right, Snigrit in the book. <laughs> One of them starts mooning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Goblin Buttocks. That's Goblin a grudge. Bot- that, that's in the, the book. <laughs> you as well. Spider book as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just the amount of grudges that he's putting down. There's pages for all of you. Every single, I'll remember this. <laughs> yeah. As they're all just fucking around. <laughs> Uh, wow. He's kind of actually I think actually the spider is helping him He's pushing him along fast like Pushing him away Okay, Speed Ray, get out of there Everyone uh. else Fight uh, Also, can the wizard We didn't take the slow down power, sadly Oh, but They can all pop oh, their Oh, they've all got slow, slow-mo pops <laughs> Yeah it doesn't matter, it's a retreat. Oh, shit, no, you're right, this is pointless, because um, he already retreated once. Oh! So when he retreats again, I think it's a wipe. Are you sure? You, you can't retreat twice. I just want to, like... <laughs> no, from a few more times. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Oh. Shit, one of our units is fleeing now. We broke one of our own units broke on the on the victory screen. Yeah, because the uh, I told the archers to fire into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. never gonna work. I want to take part. <laughs> I just control a regular attack. Of not, course, uh, yeah, not melee attacked. Yay! He went down. Good job. <laughs> victory poop. Wow, good job, man. Very good job. <laughs> Oof. Very high casualties, though. Mm. One thousand, no, two thousand five hundred gobos went down. Yeah, but like two thousand dwarves went down. Ooh, that's true. That's a fucking great KDR. Yeah. Wow. The um, Jarkov, one hundred seventy-seven kills. Wow. I, I was think not even paying attention much. to it. Holy shit. Oof. Oof. Wonder if we've got enough to take the town now. I don't think we do. We don't have enough movement to take it. So, um... Those guys might come out and fucking murderate us. No, they were in this battle. Oh. So we lost, sadly, Soup Kitchen. Soup Kitchen, you fucking hero. He's the only guy who died. Everyone else ran away to fight another day. Wow. Look at these guys. 212 kills. And Chris the bot. Jeez. Fuck me. The, those squigs. Because they were on half health when they went in. Kissing Detective, you did so much wow. work for me. They were the one that was breaking most units because they were charging them in the rear. It's a good name for squigs because every time they charge, they're like, Mwah. Uh Keep Gunnar and Downwise both did Oh, fantastic. Look at that. They've got Silver Chevron off of it. Really good. You guys. Laney Row, zero kills. What? Who's that skulker down in the bottom with only one kill? <laughs> Captain, Captain Cavefish, Cavefish you, you fucking shirker, <laughs> hanging uh, back. There was one unit of um, skulkers that was mm. like running forwards, having a great time, and they <laughs> yeah. got fucking nuked by um, blasting charges. Oh! But, uh, they went from full health down to probably about that That's many. Probably him and then. And they were like, I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. Uh, wow. Well. Maybe yeah, let's take the heal, please. That replenishment. <laughs> Great work, though. That was in gold, though. I know, but we really need the heals. Oof. Oh, we're ready to war. Oh, that's rad. I forget how that works now. Should we just do it? You declare a target for the war? Oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, Sergeant Mario got himself a wolf. Nice. Good for him. Um, now he can run away from dwarves better. <laughs> <laughs> Great, good job. Because he was he, having a really hard time on foot. He came out of that battle going, fuck, I need something to ride. I am not run. I'm not going on foot anymore. <laughs> yeah. That was really hard. That sucked. <laughs> oh, let's take the ambush buff. I feel like we're going to be doing a lot of ambushing in the future. Sure. Plus 25% ambush chance. Yeah. Uh, Sergeant Mario. Uh, sneaky stabbing buff. Or sneaky stealing. What is that? Um, affects enemies in rage. Oh, he has basically, anytime he casts a spell, 
enemy wizards cooldowns are extended on their spells. It's a bit it's passive, which is nice. <laughs> Guess, but we could just buff up sneaky stabbing yeah, instead. I think that. Um, oh God, he gained four levels. Wow! In that battle, holy shit! What's Gorkul fix it? Um, that slows the enemy down. Oh, okay, Fifty okay, okay. Well, can be good if they're chasing, right? Do the sneaky stealing, why not? Because does that will that unlock evasion? Go to the oh, next. Oh yeah, let's go sneaky stealing. Go fix it. How many do we need? Oh, oh. sneaky stabbing. Why not? Uh, no, because that one doesn't count. Oh, does so, it not? No, it's in the first box only. We'll get, I mean, we've got vindictive glare anyway. Should sure. we just like buff it up? Instead um, of Gorkle fix it, do the sneaky stealing, just because it's one less thing on the... And then the Victim of Glare. Okay, an evasion. And then we're ready for the big powers. Yeah. Best of the Bad Moon. Boom, that's what I want. Okay, cool. We haven't really captured any loot yet. We've got no magic items for anyone. Kind of sucks. Mm. Uh, right, everyone very... Very sad now. Um... What's the garrison looking like at this moment? Uh, two dead units. Yeah, if we had like just the tiniest bit of extra movement, we'd be fine. We don't. Okay. We're just gonna have to go on raiding stance for a heal. Sure. Should we call a war? Nope. Yeah. Nope. That's the wrong button. Uh, yeah. Do the wag. How do we do the war? Just press the wag wag button. This one. Ah, okay. So uh, we haven't found his capital. We could just declare it on Karak Eight Peaks. What's that? But if the the wire fails, because it's like I don't know what that. Oh, the faction strength. Their strength rank two. But it's probably because there's just like four armies sat there. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have to leave that for a while. Should we just do an easy one, like the Pillars of Grung Grungy? Uh, Maybe it would be better hold off a turn or send out Slider Miser to send it at their base because if we can yeah. hang, do some okay. do some fighting. Okay, then we'll put it stick it on his capital. Yeah, and um, and get him, get him, good. get him, dude. All right, cool. Uh, do we need more recruitment? We can fit seven more units in. Oh, no, it's global. Okay. We've got the cash, man. I feel like I've done it anyway. Oh, no, it's more about not being able to move for two turns. Oh, was it a two-turn recruitment? Yeah. I think it was only one. No, it was twos. Ooh, he's trying to escape. Oh. <laughs> but our army's real sad. Oof. Okay, we can fight that one, I guess. We can just let them go. No. Kill them all. Kill them all. What's that, Tom? Kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, we gotta kill them. We're gonna have to find that manually then, otherwise we're losing a billion units. I'm fine with that. Oh, the war always targets the capital. Oh, really? That's good to know. Mm. Oh god, our units are pretty fucking mangled, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they've reloaded their blasting charges. Yeah, that's Who's not. Who's walking out first to tank that hit, then? Oh, who's that unit that only got one kill? Uh, Caveman Fish. Well, they, they did one thing very well. <laughs> yeah. They did use up a lot of... Uh, They're experienced and not dying from blasting charges. Yeah. So hopefully they can pull that trick off again. Uh, oh, they're not here. Oh, Laney Rowe got zero kills. Laney Rowe, I think we know your job here today. Good luck, Laney Rowe. Everything we else is just going to kind of form up behind. Yeah, then we're going to have to like rear charge with the Skulkers. Uh, but also, actually, the wizard might be able to do some blasting. Yeah, that's true. They're just going to sit there, aren't they? Well, they're the guys trying to walk through this tunnel. They should be walking through the tunnel. Ah, Fine. Okay. Well, it's going to take us a little while. <laughs> a little while to get up here. Let's uh, make him walk as well. Yeah. Fast forward. Oh, we'll get some more mana while we wait, <laughs> I guess. 
Yeah. Oof. Oh, wait, he's on the wolf now, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Do you want to try and dodge the blasting charges? Yeah. Oh, God. Sergeant Mario, good luck. <laughs> Sergeant Mario is going to be a hero. Oh, you can still just walk, though. Good luck, sir. Try and get your, your vindictive blasts off while dodging explosions. Bork, bork, bork. He's got a wolf. Having all the fun. <laughs> We get a nice little hill to do. Oh, the balance of power is happy with us. The balance of power cares not how many gobos get blasted. No. <laughs> okay. Nothing. Two of them over. Sergeant Mario has voted that he doesn't walk up and dance blasting charges. <laughs> but um, I think you're outvoted here. It's two against one. Uh, yes, Carlson gave you a job. I wonder if you could just charge his lord to death. Probably not. Oh, may <laughs> God, we are a yeah. puny goblin wizard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. We might be able to fucking vindictive glare him. Yeah, what's this meant to be good at? Is this good at regiments or single single boys? Can you, like, get the tooltip up? 259 life. Uh, I don't want to do anything that isn't me controlling him, just okay. in case he does do a big blasting charge. Just, like, hover it over the thing? What does it say? Uh, good against large combatants. Oh, so it's, it's like a monster killer. Okay. Um, try giving him another one. Just see, see how it does. So he's on two five nine. Five nine, yeah. Careful. Oh fuck! Missed. Missed. <laughs> Am I might give it try like a little bonk. <laughs> Just a little kiss. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> you can give yourself the, the combat buff spell. That help. Oh, Lanny Row. Don't worry, Lanny Row. If you survive this, all of your um, sins will be forgiven. All past sins mm -hmm. will be absolved. Is that going to hit? Oh. <laughs> Maybe we should be shooting at the unit. It's harder to miss. Oh, I can probably knife him, though. Oh, if Lanyro can just bog them down, actually. Oh, shit. Wizard. Oh, Wizard's taking damage. Let's stop overcasting. Oh, he is. Oh, wow. They didn't even get to throw their bombs. Yeah, Laney Rogue did a great job there. Very good. Uh, did the hero die? They must have done. must have got shanked by a Skulker. Nice. Bonk. You meant to cast <laughs> the spell. Mario, yes, come on! <laughs> you got a bit carried away. Oh, diggy diggy. Oh, your own graves, boys. Wow. Oh, that's good. Okay, I think we killed them all. In the... Yeah, in the round. Well, they always get wiped in a tunnel battle, I think. Job, I think. Is that Lanny Row? They got two kills. Ooh. Wow, these fucking boys. I guess they had the buff and the dwarves had the debuff, but pretty fucking killy. Mmm. That was great. Good work. That's awesome. Much better than the auto resolve. Yeah. Which was like, oh yeah, let's kill 80% of your goblins. They'll all die. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, they are gobbo. I guess the auto resolve assumed that some bombs were going to be thrown. Yeah, that we were all going to crank up <laughs> and they could yeah. just bomb in there. Yeah, who got the most kills? Uh, that was uh, Christoph. Christoph the Magnificent. Real fucking strong there. Magnificent indeed. Uh, Where's Lanny Row? How'd they do? Oh, six, yeah, six kills. Six kills. That's of very the good. regular gobbos, they were mm. tied with Chonkarino. Very good job. Oh, great. You've been absolved of all your sins now, Lenny Row. Well done. Nice. Eat him. 2% heals. Every, every, every heal counts. Does that every unit get 100 experience? Yeah, but 100 experience is like nothing. They need thousands to level up. Oh. <laughs> Lenny Row says, we live to sin another day. No. <laughs> You're supposed to be doing good. You don't want to be on the seesaw of sin, vanguard, sin, <laughs> yeah. vanguard. Like you haven't earned yourself another sin. <laughs> no. You just have clean living from here on out. Wandering gits. Uh, get some control, lose some growth. Or gain some growth, lose some control. Uh, cost minus 10%. Alright, let the gits in. Get some growth. And some more growth from getting bigger. Uh... Don't need to make orcs better or cheaper. Uh, let's abuse my goblins for plus three melee attack. Abuse them. Abuse them and use wait, them. Wait, what's the... Uh, okay, no, I thought I said something else. Cool. Uh, yeah, do you want to call the wire? Yeah. Should we send um, slide miser up? Oh, is he not allowed pass? Oh, there you can. No, I just tried to like do a deed on the way. Uh, oh wow, they've really got pummeled from that loss. Uh, we're going to dedicate to Morg or to Gork. What happens? Missile strength. Oh yeah, I feel like we're more Morky, but yeah. Gork probably is better. Yeah, we've got so much more. Fighters. Oh, armor piercing weapon damage plus twenty five percent seems legit. So Same like, on both. Well. So the difference is just: um, do you want weapon damage or missile damage? I think later missile damage will be useful, but we haven't got any night goblin archers yet. Yeah. So let's go for Gork for now. I think we'll just just have more... Um, well, we're doing more melee. Like oh, right. it's not a very big wag. No, it oh, builds it up over time. Build yeah. up. Um, should we go in? Might lose a few units on, on an auto. I think I'm fine with that. It's gobos, isn't it? It's gobos. There's more. We did lose Levix. Oh. Rip. We did lose Lanny Ro. Too many sins. Uh. Too many sins. <laughs> Mr. Bucketman, the oh. dwarf herder. Shit. Mr. Bucketman did so good. <laughs> and Jibbles. Oof. But we've got it now. It's ours. It's all ours. Uh, Dwarven Dread. Nice. Amazing. They fear us. They're afraid. Uh, do we have a recruitment house here? No, we do not. So we should pull back a bit. And more skulkers, I guess. Oh, how many archers have we actually got? Four archers. Do you want more archers? Get three more skulkers and two archers. Why not? Like, I like having a couple of archers just to kind of like plink, plink in. Yeah. Um, especially in that last fight, the big fight, they brought um, giant slayers with great weapons. Um, oh, yeah, just getting to a few volleys off on them. Like, the archers did so much work fighting them. Um, and that means that I don't have to wave assault them with goblins who are going to have a bad day. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to get pummeled. <laughs> Super pummeled. Um, I'd like a artillery house at some point. Yeah, I've just got to get the um, in like three turns when our capital's level three, we'll be able to build something fun. Nice. It's just uh, just it's taking a long time to get our um, our growth off the ground. Um, I don't think we need any of those things, so we'll just go for like what are the other. Artillery, trolls and stuff, chariots and pump wagons, orcs, or cav. No, fuck orcs. 
We can upgrade um, squig herds for a bit of charge bonus and speed. It doesn't seem that great. Um, maybe we should go for the artillery then. Yeah. Or, or oh, trolls. Nice. Maybe he doesn't want too much of that because he... Um, uh, although, what's the next tier of... Um, well, then we get uh, get back here, which is like a leadership buff. And then all of these are like only applied to rank seven units. Oh. So we don't need these for a while. Um, so maybe we just go into blue now. Fruit bots. Uh, I want to get these. When do we get this? Rank 12, we can get his special stuff. Okay, yeah, that's that'd be good. Um, also, he's actually been better in combat than I was expecting. I think they've buffed him up a bit. Because he used to be a, like be. a little puny, puny weenus. <laughs> yeah, he did. There's a lead of arches in here. Just fill it out. Hmm. Now, kind of gilly. Now a bit of a stabman. Kind of, kind of stabby. He wanted to be a bit stabby. He was always all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's kind of fighty. Yeah. Like, never a super fighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello, Ungrim. Uh oh. You're not going to be happy, are you? No, no. he's declared war. Shit, that's that's where our camp is. Shit, works. he literally like borders us. Yeah, he's killed the the I tribe that we were friends with. They were our buffer. Oh. Shit. Blood war dwarf. Um. Fuck. Okay, we we have to wipe out the the blue dwarfs. Yeah. First, because if we rush off to fight him, blue dwarf will recover. Yeah. That's right, we can do it. We can do it. Oh, we could complete a quest. Be at war with the Red Dwarves. Wow. <laughs> Great success. All part of my schemes. All part of the scheme. Uh, ooh, 1,000 XP for Sly Demiser. Pure devotion. Ooh. Oh. Spends every spare moment honing his skills. Oh, Sly. That's Great true. boy. I think maybe send him up here to slow down these <laughs> armies. Oh, we just, we've just been upgrading our capital. It's literally just going to die next turn. Hmm. Shall I just recruit a, a quick army in there to try and stop him? Yeah, try. Get a lord. Should we get an orc lord? Sure. Um, with skulkers? Yeah. Oh, shit, they're going to... They're going to get here just before the garrison gets improved. Mm. Can you get um, a hero up there? No, we don't have the right building yet. Shit. Um, it feels bad. Well, run Sergeant Mario back. Can you get there in time? Depends if it's going to take him two, one turn or two. Because at the moment it says he can reach, but that's because he's in march mode. So when he turns off march mode... If he can't quite reach, uh, then we... I've got a feeling he might be able to. Yeah. Shit. Well, Skarsnik's got to push on, right? He's got to yeah. strike while he still can. Oh, what? Uh, not the Arachnorox. I'm going to have to fight that. Yeah, let's do it. Um, does that help? No, that just leaves our wire behind. It's very bad. Uh, in we go then. Uh oh. <sighs> well, we can just trade. Thank Gumbag for Carrot Kadrin. Yeah, and then eventually take back Gumbag. It's just frustrating that I've invested a lot of growth and money in there. Do we just cut our losses and cancel the building? Oh, maybe. Yeah, and they develop the other towns instead. Yeah. Like, it's annoying to do, but mm. I don't think we're going to win that race. This will be fine if we just keep the really low units out of a fight. I think we'll easily win this. Yeah. Yeah, because he only had, like, what, six units? Five units of um, other boys? Hmm. Oh, 
Um, anonymous. An anonymous person has just donated $15. What the heck? And they didn't even leave a message. Just a kind, kind person. Wow. Slipped, slipped those notes into your, uh, your unbuttoned chest cavity. Ooh. Very kind. Saucy. And a little saucy as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you indeed. It's very kind. If a little um, unsettling. I'll take it. <laughs> we are not pre recorded. I can see your messages. He's live. We're playing the new. The new secret beta for Immortal Empires. Warhammer well, 3, now with gobos. Wee's gobos. Wee's gobos. Nice. Oh no! Dan Wise! Oh. Dan Wise! No! Flee! Flee with Dan Wise! You've got to get him out of there. That was fucking horrendous. But, uh, luckily, Keegnar's here, because first one, first one gets the blasting charge. Second one gets the glory, man. Second one gets the stabbing. Um, so, absolutely, uh, absolutely fine. That was fucking horrible. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Keegan thought that was very funny. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he did. Watching all those uh, all those other gobos explode. Oh, down wise. Oof. Please don't die. We can't replace you. We've lost the technology to make fanatics. The second gobo stabs the dwarf. Who is gobos? I think we need to um, stop moving before we throw fanatics out there. Oh, man. <laughs> but it just seems so fun. <laughs> it is more fun. It gives the fanatics a bit of extra momentum yeah. from a yeah, running yeah. start. <laughs> oh, Poxdoll has donated. Thank you very much. They say tomato, beef. <laughs> I've been fermenting at the bottom of the vodka vopar for years due to being an Aussie. But now my brain has grown a hundred times in size and is covered in so many wrinkles, making me the smartest, nastiest gobo there is. Oh. Except for Mr. Scars, Nick. Oh my god. The smartest gobo. What would the smartest gobo be like? Would they still be like mean? And vindictive like a gobbo, or would they like transcend beyond galaxy brain style? Oh, uh, I don't know if I trust that. Well, I think if there was a gobbo that like that, none of the other gobbos would ever follow them or do anything they said. No, Cause they'd be like, "Don't trust him. You don't. You don't knife no one." No, it'd be like the um, uh, you know, the intelligent gremlin in Gremlins Two. Oh yeah, he's just a big nerd. Uh. Oh, we've got Doom Divers. Oh, that's fun. Do you want to manually be a, a Doom Diver? Uh, they're sadly not in range. Oh, what? No, but you can just manually fire it in the bottom left. <laughs> just go for range, see how far you can get him to go. No? Is that working? Is it because they're moving? Left click to fire. I'm pressing left click. Oh, what? Something's busted. Go like. Ah, oh, there we go! Whee! Uh, <laughs> I've, it's the most pointless feature that it's I. It's so fucking cool. I though. love that they added it. Oh, it's reloading. That's why it's not ready to fire. Oh, uh, okay. There's a little charge bar in the reticle. <laughs> Whee! Uh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all things, all things considered, that was a fairly gentle landing for that goblin. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh god. Uh.
Oh my god, Anonymous. Anonymous has donated $38. What the heck? God, this is, thank you both for being so chill. It always comes at the most needed times. Just been catching up on the Chance Encounters. I'm currently on the episode with Tom on. Great stuff as always. I always wanted to show my appreciation. Oh, I'm glad, oh. glad you enjoyed and I didn't ruin it too much. It was lovely having you on the show. <laughs> so if you, if you don't know what that is, um, I uh, do a podcast with the guys who run the Chance Encounters Board Game Cafe. Uh, we talk about silly scenarios and, um, and recommend board games. It's good fun. You can check it out on the Games Night YouTube channel or wherever you download your podcasts. Nice. Oh, there you go. Someone put it in chat. That's the links. <laughs> Squeaks. So good. Uh, Lanny Rowe, thank you for donating again, Lanny Rowe. And they say, my fellow gobos might be dead, but I'll be back to sin once more. <laughs> oh, no. Did you betray them all? They all died except for you, Lanny Rowe. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> he was too busy sinning. He got up late for the battle. Found out his whole regiment died. We won yet. I feel like you should have won by now. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. There you go, they're breaking. Nice. Squig's in the butt. Let's go to Squiggin. Oh, Slayers are unbreakable. Right. Oh, of course. Good job. Good job, Gobos. Hey, no one died. Nice. Mmm. Mm. Real nice. Good stabbing. <coughs> Did lose 600 goblins. Well, I guess the towers were just gunning yeah, away. Yeah, just plinking every single unit. Mm. Um, also, those blasting charges probably killed about 60, <laughs> 60 gobos. <laughs> That's true. Oh, damn, I survived. That's the main thing. Uh, well, it was the other unit. Yeah. Because Keegnar got all the kills with the fanatics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keegnar's now leveled up. So they, they have a rivalry, the two fanatic units, and Keegnar's now one step ahead. Yeah, because they uh, stayed one step behind, <laughs> uh, knowing that blasting charges were on the way. <laughs> nice. Um, who, yeah, blam. Who else done Got good? Him. These guys done good. Inquisitor bot, good stabbing as always. Uh, the War Army, we don't talk about them, they don't have names. <clears throat> Lit. That's an Occupy. Um, Ooh, we got the Moon Owlers. Moon Owlers. Uh, I got a Backstabber. Very good. Oh, nice. Chance of more magic. Always appreciated. Oh, he's leveled up. Uh, evasion. Come on, raiding. I reckon this one, chance of evading the underway. There's always oh. going to be a time when we're going to want to just get out of dodge, right? Yeah. I think that's going to be worth it. Uh, there it is. What's the defense like on it? it? I oh, was about to go to tier four, and I oh know I thought that was walls, but it's not. Uh, we'll have to see next turn because it will go up. It's not the biggest. No, they haven't got the defenses in, built in yet. Do you want to cancel the thing up north? Yeah, maybe. Um, let me just build something here. We got to. I think it is going to die. Yeah, it comes down to. They. Pr I mean, it's hard to say how much t movement they lose going through these woods. But even if we do recruit some stuff there, like, maybe we hold? How much money do we get back? Like, It's more just losing the construction time that's a pain. But actually, we'd have to kill this army to ever finish building this, wouldn't we? So, takes them two turns. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to. 
Like, just cancel it, like, burn down the other buildings. Oh, man, that's our only recruitment house. <laughs> but they're going to take it, and if we smash it, they get worse buildings when they take it over. Scorched mm. Earth, maybe. Uh, yeah, but if they can't attack it this turn, then we do get that recruitment done. I think there's a oh, chance they okay, won't make sure. it this turn. I'll we'll have to see how it goes. Let's put um, Sergeant Mario on uh, Forced March. Okay. Um, if he can make it back, yeah, then that's a significant army. That's twenty. That's a full stack. Okay. To garrison it, and he's got a fair few miners. Even if we die, we can take such a chunk out of his army that he yeah, won't conquer like anything else. It slows down. I like. Yeah. It. Sure. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, Healy Mushrooms is pretty good. Let's try that. Everything else is kind of like Orc. Blit. Orc buffing. We don't care about Orcs. Orcs suck. Uh, ooh, Eggamon, though. Okay, we'll go Healy Mushrooms. Okay, uh, is that everything and everyone? I suppose so, isn't it? Uh, does this guy want a name? He does, doesn't he? Does he want to be named? I Orc. Yeah, one of those uh, new donations that just came in. Oh, we actually have like one or two that haven't. Oh yeah, been a, been a thing. Um, boom. Uh, Georgette, Georgette, Kieran. George, what was it? Eh. Eh. How do I spell it? Eh. H. H. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Georgette. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Uh, Fuck off, Ungrim. No one likes you. You're a slayer king, which means you're bad at being a slayer and you're bad at being a king. Yeah. You, you fucked up both of those oaths. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they are like mutually exclusive oaths, right? Yeah. Oh. What do you want? He wants friend. He's he's at war with some random orcs and dwarves. Um, Do we care about this fucking pleb? I mean, it's one less thing to be invaded by. He just say stupid green things need smart, clever, smart Skaven. <laughs> what a way to open <laughs> negotiations. <laughs> Damn Skaven! <laughs> um, you're cool. Uh, yeah, I'm good to it. More friends is more good. Because we can always betray them later. Of course. If, not if he betrays us first. <laughs> That's the problem with the Skaven Gobbo Alliance. The dwarves didn't even move up. What? He encamped. He's waiting. He's waiting for something. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, let's come out of March move then. Uh, let's pick those up. Park him. Wow. Oh. No. God, yeah. can you, can you sit outside and oh, what garrison I, what and I, uh, ambush? Oh, yeah. Let's give that a go. Uh, ambush. Can you recruit as well? Like, uh, even if we're losing some money, we may as well just get more units. Yeah, okay, hang on. How many? We'll put five of them in here. Sure, oh, nasty we'll skulkers. Sure, God's spear boys. And then... The tribe's ready. I think get some archers, just to get... If we're doing a defense, like... Well, yeah, and he's going to have slayers, right? Yeah. You want to shoot the slayers. Cool. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Yeah, I'm surprised. Like, I don't know why he didn't come in. No. We could probably hold it now. Is it worth trying to upgrade the capital again? Well, I've spent the I spent the growth now. Uh, we're going to have to wait. Oh, one more turn. And then oh, okay, growth. fine. That's fine. Um, let's get a slider miser up here. I got schemes. I'm a schemer. Oh, fuck. Beastman. No one wants that. Uh, I don't think we can reach, so we're going to have to go, like, Moving. halfway. Garrison. And raid. 
Oh. Get a little bit of a bit of a heal. Um let's go corn, we'll upgrade that. Okay. That that was exactly what we needed. We are totally gonna be okay now. Um Chat's telling me I did the ambush wrong. But I wanted all those uh, goblins to heal. He was waiting for two more things. What? Is one of them a hero? I hope one of them's a hero. Let's hope they're both heroes. Although we're not that lucky. <laughs> Never that lucky. If it's just like two runesmiths have come up to like fuck around. <laughs> yeah, I'll be happy. I'll be never have been happier to see a runesmith. Um, no, I don't care about you. Snorko. <laughs> Snorko, oh weirdly. Snorko? <laughs> Where did you even live, Snorko? The border princes hate you. Barak Var hates you. I don't you. know if we need to fucking get involved in uh, Snorko. Fuck off, Snorko. Snorko has pissed off quite a lot of powerful people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what is going on up there? Okay, we've got. Oh. Hero? Okay, yeah. Okay, what? they do have another stack. Dinzad Gunnison. Yeah, it's not it's full stack. It's only 15. What we can do... Oh, no, we can't. That slides back here. I was going to say Sly can go, get in there and slow him. Um, but he still can. We can go over there. We can block army. Sure. Succeed! Okay. And schema. Which now means... Um, where's the effect? He's lost 53% of his move. Okay. Yes, yeah, so he probably won't reach us. Um, we can do some more unloading now. Uh, Wait, so do we need the big army ambushing? Uh, yeah. So, but the army that we leave at home will heal faster. That's what I'm thinking. Hang on. Let's cancel this. Yeah, let's get the big army... In the woods, in ambush, and the little army. The little army can hang around here. Oh no, he can't even reach us this turn. What am I even doing? Oh, he can. No, he can't. He can get to there. So there's no ambushing in this turn. In like, well, we could try. We yeah, could. I don't think it hurts. We could go here, ambush, and then this guy can go here. Sure, do you want to keep recruiting with them? Never. Like, there's yeah. more goblin plebs. And we're now, if we want to, we can retreat and get out of his range. Oh. Because he's got such a small movement. Sure. Um, do you want another wave of goblins? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, more skulkers? I think, like, yeah, another three skulkers, two archers or something. Um... Okay, we upgrade Mount Gumbad. High place. Uh, snotling pump wagons that lead into rock lobbers and doom divers. Do it. Would you rather that, that than trolls and... Yeah. Stuff? Okay. Uh, there's more growth. Yeah, cool. Like, I think just fire support is always good with gobos. Yeah, they need it. Because they can pin people down and then we can smush rocks into there. And if a couple of groblins get mushed... <laughs> I will trade <laughs> fucking 10 goblins for a dwarf every day of the week if that's what it costs me to fire stone throwers into combat. That's a good trade. Oh, you fucking asshole beastmen. They're sieging the dwarves. So we can't go in. That's fine, because if they burn it down, they can't take the territory. Oh, that's true. They'll turn it into a shrine, and then we just have to go in and... Clean up all the beastman poo. Honestly, I'm fine with that. <laughs> all right, we'll just hang around behind him raiding. Um, and hopefully we get to join in the battle as allies. Who the fuck's this nice. guy? Zufbar's been oh fighting God, someone. they're going to come and say hello soon. Yeah. Well, here we go. This feels fine. <laughs> um, World War Dwarf. Just all the dwarves. But I think we did it. Yeah. Ambush. We got the ambush. Decisive victory. <sighs> oh, look, he's mostly miners. There they are, just marching down the oh, mountain gee, did road. Oh, fucking 
uh, troll hammers. Oof. But I am so... Oh, we've got the wire as well. <laughs> oh, nice. What about that? Right. That's just fucking auto. That's an auto, isn't it? Just a thousand nasty skulkers leap out of the mountain forest. Yeah. Stab all the dwarves in the back. That was not a noble death. <laughs> Fuck you, slayers. Oh, wow. A thousand dwarves marched into the mountains. Not a single one marched out yeah, again. None of them returned. <laughs> oh, the wire got a bit. That George. George got 48 kills. Pretty good. Happy with that. Take the money. <laughs> That's a grudging. <laughs> That's a grudging. <laughs> Uh, uh. Wow, maybe those guys can even push up towards them. Yeah, I think so. Especially with that new wave of <laughs> recruits that we just did. Because uh, that uh. way they'll be earning earning their keep a little bit. Yeah. Oh, we got a swindler out of it. A swindler. <laughs> sure. I know, George got his boar. Boar, boar. Boar, boar. Slayer King Slayer. Nice. Amazing. Got a bit of, oh, Sergeant Mario's got plus five melee attack. You know, some of these like names you get for killing legendary characters give you really cool buffs. Yeah. What the fuck is this? Some of them really shit. That was so boring. So boring. Like, there are common magic items that are better than that. Yeah. That is the shittest buff I've ever it's seen. It's so bad. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Five percent spell resistance. Ooh. Oh. That's so much. So much. I'm going to feel that. Yeah, you're really going to notice every time. They want me to assassinate that hero who witnessed it. Leave no witnesses, Tom. Oh, yeah, Tom. shit, because he's a witness. He can go back and report the grudge. Yep. He's a, a, a snitch. Snitches. you got to go and prison shank Snitches shanking. get shanking. Oh, only 25% chance. Yeah, no, we didn't do it. <laughs> well, Sly, I don't think you will take them out. Well, next time. Do you want to uh, keep moving up and... Yeah, let's just keep going, right? Get some Raiden on. I think, like, uh, try to do another ambush next turn. See if you can just lure more. Um, yeah, why not? Uh, should we make him a fight? Fight Orc? Yeah, why not? Yeah, because we don't have, like, a fight. Yeah, we don't do with one Lord being able to fight. Uh, right, we got. The, should we just level up Curse of the Bad Moon? Yeah. Uh, Magic reserves. Try it. Oh. Um, Direct damage, active ability. Strong versus characters. Um, or okay, we just got like a character sniping power. Sure, do it. Why not? Why not? Sounds like fun. Never don't remember that one. Um, okay, sweet. Any buildings to build? No. This is all going a bit too smoothly, Tom. I'm scared. How, how the beast man's doing? The beast man's are doing the siege. <laughs> so, you know, that's going to take forever. Although it's Warhammer 3, so you immediately start taking siege attrition. Oh, okay. So they've taken 10% already. Nice. Oh, man, this is it. We've got them. We've got them by the grudges. Annoyingly, the beast men are slowing it down. <laughs> We're still at 16 turns, though. So oh, okay. Oh, shit. Good. So we've got plenty of time to finish the wire. Oh, wow. Yeah. Real good. Man, the wires work so much better. It's like, it's such an improvement than like that random army that sometimes joined in or sometimes didn't and just <laughs> wandered around. <laughs> yeah, and they never went where you told them to go. No, they were fucking shit. Yeah. And then all your boys got sad when they died. <laughs> yeah. Post, post wire blues. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh. But yeah, maybe we can move up and try and trick those guys. Oh, they're coming out. Nice, we get to fight them. Yay! Oh my god, those poor dwarves. <laughs> they've got a Beastman stack, they've got Skarsnik stack, they've got the War stack. Let's fucking do it. Let's fight this. <laughs> yeah, this is the end. It's the end of, well... Of Thorgrim, hopefully. Did they come and attack us? No. Yeah, they're marching out. Oh, oh well, luckily the beastmen. The beastmen can go in first. I'm yeah. happy for them to take a lot of the brunt of the damage <laughs> yeah. on this one. You see all those towers? Go for it, beastmen. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> we'll um, we'll stand back in case of enemy reinforcements. That's that's clever. You wouldn't want to get surrounded, would you? No, <laughs> beastmen hate being surrounded. <laughs> Small. Oh. Cheerful Al has donated forty dollars. Wow, Cheerful Al, super generous. Thank you, Cheerful Al. Thank you very much. Uh, Toblin and Gobben. <laughs> Gobben. <laughs> Perfect. Hey. Um, I missed too many streams due to work, but I have a Warhammer Law question. Oh. I get the other Chaos Gods, but what is Malice's deal? Um, well, he doesn't exist anymore, technically. Well, M Malal, Malal doesn't exist anymore. Malice, I guess, kind of does, maybe. Um... Isn't he just like hate? He's the anti chaos. Right? I thought he just kind of hated and hates chaos as part of his hate. He hates them too. Or something. Because isn't there like a Space Moon chapter? Because they're like the Sons of Malice who. who fight other chaos chapters or something? Uh, Malal. Malal hates chaos. I thought they were just anti chaos chaos. But Malal and Malice are not the same thing. Oh. Because Malal is was written by a freelancer yeah, during the eighties. Yeah, so it isn't in the in the universe so anymore. Games Workshop doesn't have one hundred percent intellectual property of ownership of of Malal, so they've stopped using him, and he's been replaced with Malice. Um, I know so little about it. There's so little lore about Malice, and I haven't read the, the book that's about those Chaos Marines who like Malice. Uh, what was the name of the fucking guy? Caleb Dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he loved Malal, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was the, like, uh, the Chaos Champion of Malal. God, those Minotaurs are getting fucked up. Oh, jeez. These have charged the gate. They could have taken that down so no, much faster than this. No, battering rams are for gates, Tom. <laughs> you battering rams. <laughs> They're beastmen. They love rams. Oh, that's true. They love a good ram. That's the battering ram. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm kind of fine with the... Uh, God, let them just maybe get through those front gates. Ow. Do we just take damage? Grobways are here to watch. Uh, the wire disappears when we do the thing, right? Uh, yeah. Well, maybe we just keep it till the timer runs out. I can't remember. It's been a long time. Oh, well, the Orcsies. I'm going to send the Orcs in first because oh, yeah. I don't like Orcs. No, they're not part of Gobbos. Orcs. They're, they're mean <laughs> to Gobbos. They're very mean. Uh. Oh. But yeah, sorry, I can't answer your question, Cheerful Al. It's a quite obscure law. You're going to have to, like, Read a Wikipedia article or something. Um, and also, it's not really properly fleshed out. There's not, it's not a lot on it. No, not really. Okay. Come on. Oh god, we're gonna have to get through. Ooh, thread the needle! Thread the uh. needle! Whoa! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, we've injured our allies. Oh no, man! <laughs> My allies! <laughs> Whee! Uh oh, too high, too high. Too high! You uh -oh. flew too close to the sun. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, no, I'm losing, I'm losing speed. <laughs> oh no! Oh, just, correct, just correct, commit. correct! Commit, commit to nothing. <laughs> oh. Okay, right. Maybe it can move up a little bit. No, more! Uh, more you... Doom Divers! Uh, I'm just gonna tell the orcs, just get up there. <laughs> that feels like a, uh. like a strat. And then we can go back to doom diving. Okay. Um, Haffy says, Ben, I've been making some TTT maps recently, and I believe some of them are of half decent quality. Is there a good way to suggest the map? Good way to suggest the maps, or should I leave it up to you finding them? 
Uh, no, send me send me a link. That would be really cool. Uh, you can like DM me on Twitter or um, you know post it in a in a bottle, throw it in the ocean. Ooh, um, very romantic. Yeah, and then you know if it was meant to be, I'll find it. Yeah. If it was destined, I guess. Um, or that's probably the best way to DM on Twitter. Oh. Oh, it was so close. That was so close. <laughs> they say, okay, I'll try Twitter first, and if I don't succeed, I'll send a bottle with a kiss. Perfect. Nice. We don't actually really want to hurt the beastman that bad, because... Whoa, oh, no! <laughs> so close! <laughs> Just beans the landing. <laughs> <laughs> that is the problem with doom diving. You do often fuck up the landing. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Blam! Blammo! We might have hurt some orcs. <laughs> Where did the whole, like, message in a bottle meme come from? Did people used to actually do that? <laughs> Fuck that Minotaur. <laughs> 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 uh. Uh, I cannot take any blame. <laughs> it's that sort of, like, you know, being stuck on a desert island uh. type thing. You put a message in a bottle to mm. try and hope that it will yeah. get you help. But did that come from a story or something, do you think? Or do you think Fuck. someone actually <laughs> keep fucking up Minotaurs? <laughs> Look, they're um, just in the way. <laughs> they are bigger than the dwarves, to be they fair. They are bigger than a dwarf. That is one thing oh. we can say. Like, well, I just wonder if it came from like some kind of a famous story, or if it was like a saying because it was like, uh, you know, you've got as much chance of doing that as you have of messaging the bottling. I don't know. Ooh, someone in chat says modern day version is to put a USB in a bottle. If you found a bottle, one bottle with a message in it and one bottle with a USB in it, would you read the message and would you stick that USB in your computer? I don't think I would stick the USB in my computer. No, I wouldn't trust it. No. You know, same way I probably wouldn't drink what was in the bottle <laughs> if it was fluid. Yeah, like mystery bottle drink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ain't the, uh, ain't the dream. It might be free bitcoins. Could be. <laughs> no, it definitely could be. Uh, okay, how's the war going? <laughs> Mahon says he would stick it in a burner PC. Yeah, what yeah, I think that makes sense. <laughs> like... Like, you don't want to just put it in your home computer. No, I definitely wouldn't put it in my home computer, but... Also, how many burner PCs have you got? What kind of weird, like, crypto drug dealer are you to have burner PCs? Um, I'd rather not have that chat while we're on stream, Ben. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Hat Films is PC. Oh, yeah. Ooh. We'll just go to Hat Films' room. Stick it in their computer. Perfect. A victimless crime. A victimless crime. <laughs> They've already fucked up their own PCs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Couldn't make them any worse. Move out, legs. Okay. Oh, someone's just doing like big old wiki copy pastes. Around 310 BC, developed a theory that the Mediterranean was formed by an inflow of water from the Atlantic. In order to test his theory, he dropped several notes sealed in bottles into the sea and waited to see where they ended up. How could he possibly find that out in 300 BC? It's not like someone could reply to him with just like a, you know, royal mail. Well, they might have had like some kind of message uh, le leaving service. But if like some random fisherman in Carthage finds a Greek message, what are the odds he's going to reply to that? 
this is before they've had like the sort of like Nigerian prince scams. <laughs> oh, so right. they'd be like, hello, I am Theseus from Greece. <laughs> uh, respond to this and I'll give you 100 goats. Amazing. And they'll be like, wow, wow. Freak, oh, my oh my God, God. it's written down. <laughs> no. And no one would lie. <laughs> yeah. No one would lie on the legit. ocean. <laughs> no one would lie in the ocean. <laughs> uh, I've never heard of it happening before. This sounds pretty legit. <laughs> yeah. um, and and bam, you scammed them. <laughs> if only I could read. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's one of the problems. <laughs> uh, but you might take it to someone else and then they they help you. They scam you. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, no, this means nothing. Oh, a rich Thracian goat herd. Mm, I'll, I'll write back to them. Yeah. Uh, I feel I mentioned that's how. Oh, shit. That's how, yeah. how it would work. So you just send one herd of cattle to him, and he'll send ten herds back. Yeah, 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 that's it. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, God, I'm losing too much altitude. Send one beautiful wife with goat herd. Yeah. <laughs> Promise to send ten back. Mm-hmm. You know what? You might. It's one of ours, Tom. It's one of the Waz, who I only feel minor attachment to. Man, I, I don't think I can go back to playing normal Total War now. Me neither. Just remote dropping goblins onto dwarves while being completely safe. Feels it's like the future. Kind of hilarious. <laughs> Just a meat shield of... Um, AI controlled goat men in the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, would you ever get that in medieval? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like, this is way more fun. <sighs> Blamo! <laughs> nice. Hang <sighs> on a minute. That's not a beautiful flying woman at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, being scammed by a. Uh, by a doom diver. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I promise you beautiful flying sexy times. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, how's this going? Where's me orcsies? Apparently they've made a lot of co-op campaign improvements. What? What improvements? Have they sped it up? I don't know if I can go back to co-op campaign. Like... I like it's hard to chat and read stuff yeah. when we're both trying to play the game. And then I have to do Tom work, and Tom has to do Ben work. Ugh. Simultaneous turns, that is a big improvement. That helps a lot. What happens when you both try to attack each other and you walk past each other and walk into each other's houses? Yeah, what's the deal with that? How does that work? What's the deal? Do you just wait? You don't attack until the end of the turn timer, so they don't have time to react. Oh, that that's matter? the one. Or who clicks first at the start yeah, of the new turn. Yeah, you have that like sieve thing of like, <laughs> who can fucking click fastest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of hate that. Wow, these warriors, they like came up, saw the orcs, and they were like, oh, nope, fuck <laughs> you. It's just like these ballistas. Oh, those poor ballistas. Ballista guys are just like, <laughs> really? <laughs> like, where are they? Because they're all dead, but their flag is here. Oh, they're down there. Oh, oh behind those dwarves. Place. But their flag is deceptively far yeah, away from the Yeah, that's misleading. Okay, I'm just going to fast. <laughs> I'm going to speed this one up. Yeah, we've had our fun. <laughs> yeah, and now... All the dwarf units are a bit too far away from the Doom Divers. <laughs> uh, it's not as good. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Got Saigor. Mino. Minotaurs. Who are they? 
<laughs> there's just one orc. <laughs> I know there's more. I thought yeah, just one orc trapped behind enemy lines for like, some reason. Fuck! Why am I here? I hate this. Do I stab the goats or the dwarves? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> uh, just, just keep wah, wahing. Uh, yeah, I'm fine to fire, fire at random into the combat. Oh yeah, every hit's a hit. Yeah. And sometimes killing a goat man. <laughs> So I mean, chan not chance not really my problem. <laughs> no. So chance we're willing to take. It's their fault for being so tall. Uh, Alright, well we've got their flag, so Yeah, you gonna take a little while to have they not captured any of the other places? Hmm. Okay, none of our boys are really getting shot, so... Okay, so I guess we just wait till the green bar is win. Yeah, have a wag. Hmm. Nice! Hooray! We did it! We did it! It was all us. <laughs> okay, how many kills do you reckon the Doom Diver got? Ooh, 20. I'm going to say 30. Fair. I mean, you hit a lot of Minotaurs. <laughs> it's going to keep the average down. <laughs> uh, yeah, he lost quite a lot of his army. Wow, that guy. 170 kills. Fuck. Oh my god, what a killer. Jeez. I'm really glad we didn't have to do that. Skarsnik's army, zero losses. <laughs> Hooray! Great success! Great success! <laughs> I feel like Skarsnik tricked the Beastman into doing this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's such a schemer. It's all schemes. Schemes upon schemes. Okay. I want to see. I want to see my Doom Diver kills. Uh, uh, oh, 17! 17! How much okay. um, like, value damage did they do? I have to hover over the kills. Oh, hardly any. <laughs> <laughs> that means they probably did more friendly fire than anything else. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, pal. Okay, all well, the Beastmans did oh, get kind yeah. of fucked up, they but we fucked probably up. could take that army now. Yeah, um, we'd be very happy fighting that army. Excellent work. So. Blammo. So what did they... I hope they didn't fucking burn it down, because that's going to cost us time and money. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. They've been destroyed! Nice! Oh, my God. It's only turn 17, and the best dwarf faction is out. This is a fantastic start. Yeah, it's a stinky poo land now. I need to clean that poo-poo up. Uh... Do we kill them and then colonize? Yeah, because they might just attack us, right? Um, they I like think they us, just though. have that army. We're friends. Yeah, but are they going to stinky pool around this place? Yeah, but I mean, that's what beastmen do, right? But we can stop them doing that by killing them. <laughs> and we still have the wah. <laughs> Did we do that and then we colonize? All right. Free wah. Declare war. Get out of here, stinky poo boys. Stinky poo boys, <laughs> not wanted. Oh, I thought you were my ally. Oh, no. Oh. We can just auto uh, that for no casualties. Yeah. They're so weakened from that assault. <laughs> they lost a lot of minotaurs somehow. <laughs> yeah. um, Get wrecked. Oh, we hardly lost anything. Yeah. Oh, so good. <laughs> Yeah, because they'd lost two-thirds of their army in that last um, battle. Yeah, and for some reason, loads of their Minotaurs died. Even though they turned up with these, like, three stacks, overwhelming numbers that all pinpoint attacking at the same time, sort of easily wiped that garrison. <laughs> oh, we don't quite have enough movement to um, to settle it now, sadly. We have to wait till next turn. Hopefully no one just goes, Those oh, fucking no. assholes are going to come. Oh, they okay, can't reach. Like, good. Oh, God. Fine. <laughs> Uh, how's stuff looking north? Uh, oh, hold on, we can, um... 
Oh, do the... You can do the Spite of the Bad Moon. Nice. Which is like a big buff. Bonus versus large. Smart Iden. Or Smart Iden. Uh, sneaking. I think that's just for him. Oh. Uh. Um, oh, all the other lords get XP gain. And we can get... Um, Steal 25% of experience earned by other lords. Oh, yeah. I misread that. Level up quicker. Magic item drop. Uh... Sure, steal, steal other lords. <laughs> steal, steal XP. Scarsnick's the best. <laughs> yeah. You've got to pay the tithe. Yeah. Little bits of their brain. Uh, backstabbity. Because we can get rid of, like, war banner and that kind of shit. Um, and then get... Oh, we can't have it. All right, funny. Uh, all right, he's done. Oh, Squeak horn, what do you want? Uh, should we get Troll House? Spider House? Squeak House? Squeak House. Uh, why can't we? Oh, we're not high enough tier for that one. Sweet. <laughs> trolls! Do uh, I Trolls? Or should we just get a Money House while we wait for Squigs? Sure, Money House. I think a Money House sounds good. Because uh, once we get, actually get Carrot Cake Peaks. Yeah. I uh, know, um... Carrot Cadron. We can uh, start leveling that up. Oh, that's true. Uh, oh, we can put Squigs in here. Sure. Oh. Squigs. Uh, right, and up here, Slider Miser, finish your quest. Do it. Quest. Oh. Oh, you suck. Um, Do the rock up an ambush. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. How much does it cost? 25%. Because if you can move up, do the ambush, move the other guys behind in the encamp mode and, like, recruit with them. Ambush? They might try and come out to try and stop your recruiting. Yeah. have to stay here for two turns. I guess a bunch of archers or something. Because we might just cancel this next turn anyway. That's true. Just uh, just extra bait. Yeah. Okay. Uh, probably Root Marcher, I guess, since we've yeah. got, um, got the spells done. Okay. Pretty efficient turn. Okay. Uh, I think when we when we finish our war, we'll, we'll get the war target, and then maybe that's a good place to stop. Yeah. Finish World War Dwarf. Mm-hmm. And we're the kings. Oh, you can walk in ambush in the new version, can't you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good point. That's one of the like really good improvements. Azag! Azag. What do you want? Friend. Yeah, yeah. I'll be a friend with Azag. He's a good boy. He's the Bilbo Baggins of... Yeah, pretty much. ...of this. <laughs> He's one of my favorite weird parallels. He, they, him and Bilbo are very similar. They both... Stole a magic ring from an evil necromancer, mm -hmm. and it whispers in their brain bad thoughts. And makes them, uh, you know, do some crazy, crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. You reckon he's more of a Frodo. thing is, Azhag stole it from a, oh, a troll's cave. Oh, but they didn't attack either. Bark Bark Var Var oh, shit, look. It was, um, what's his name? Snorko. Snorko came good. Snorko came good. We regret not making friends with Snorko. You might be able to phone him up. Snorko. My boy. My old, my old boy. <laughs> I always knew you could do it, Snorko. I love you, Snorko. <laughs> That's his only territory. <laughs> Snorko nearly died. Wow. But managed to fucking snipe Barrett Vaughn <laughs> in a base race. Holy yeah. shit. Although... But, well, Barakvar's gone. Okay, I was wondering if they still had like a stack that was about to turn up. It was just like 12 units of hammerers. He's still at war with the Border Princes. Oh, fuck it. I feel like we're going to barrel over there at some should point. Should we look after Snorko? Yeah, Snorko can be our baby. Okay, Snorko, we love you. Military access for Snorko. Sure. Um, Hooray! Yay! This makes sense. <laughs> this makes sense. <laughs> Snorko's strong. Oh, Snorko. Love him. Congratulations. So proud of you, Snorko. Uh, should we be friends with Wurzak? Yeah, why not? Who seeks the word of Wurzak? Yeah. yeah. Cool. That's enough. Enough talking. Uh, what can we build? I'm a schemer. 
Right, we can start working Bam. our way up. Um, oh, we can have bread party. Bread party. Oh, mm. nice. Real good. Oh, uh, we're, in a good, we're in a good spot. We're in a fantastic spot. We've got two full territories. We've wiped out one of our biggest rivals. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good right now. This might be a good time to wrap it up on the victory. Uh, World yeah. War Wolf victory day. Let's um, cram in the last couple of donations as names because we've got a few unnamed skulkers around. Oh, yeah. Um, these ones? It's Pockstall. Welcome aboard, Pockstall. Uh, There's Anonymous. Anony Mouse. And there's Chiffel, Chiffel Owl. Oh, I feel like maybe, like, get the, um, here, like, here, instead of Karaza Karak, mm -hmm. call it, like, Karaza Chiffel Owl. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Not? And, uh, this can be Mount a not a noni mouse. Is that how you spell it? Perfect. Close enough. That works for me. Boom. We did it. Oh, I'm feeling good. I'm looking forward to next week. Yeah. This actually feels pretty good. Like we've got a nice little Skarsnik Empire. Mm hmm We've fucking taken out Thorgrim Grudgebearer. We've kicked the shit out of Ungrim Iron Fist. Yeah. And if Zuthbar's down, there aren't a lot of dwarves left in this area that we're going to have to deal with. No. So actually now we can do a big offensive. Mm -hmm. I really do want to try and push into the Empire. Before we take Karakate Peaks. Uh, oh, no, we can do that as well. Like, I guess we need to start moving down there because there's going to be some fucking scaven around here we've got to deal with. That's true. Um, we should send a little spy down and see how, how fortified Carrick 8 Peaks is. Yeah, because actually we should should go and take Carrick 8 Peaks because it does give us a bunch of buffs. Um, mm. But we'll see how tough it is because if we need a, more than we've got, we'll have to take some more territory before we can jump it. Because yeah, they're, still, they're still a very high strength rank, I think. 27. Oh, wow, we're strength rank 4! Wow. What? Oh shit, well, it's like 1. Well, we're friends with him now. Let's hope that stays that way. Cool. Oh, we've got plenty more scheming adventures to do. Loads more scheming to do. See if we can get any anyone else to kill themselves on our enemies' defences for <laughs> yeah. us. Oh, man, I've enjoyed those multiplayer battles. <laughs> yeah. uh, especially playing as Gobbos, where, you know, it's characterful to just be a fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bam. Perfect. Cool. Let's save this out. Uh, well, thank you so much to everyone who has watched, everyone who's donated, everyone who's taken part. Super cool. Everyone in chat, mm -hmm. love you all. Um, all the VOD gobos uh, watching this in the future. I hope you're yeah. having a great time as well. Um, if I want to see more Ben... Oh, you can see me on my channel tomorrow. Nice. Oh, excuse me. On uh, twitch.tv slash bedgers. Um, I normally start at five, but I might be starting a little late tomorrow because we're doing a big, big recording here Ooh. in the afternoon. So I might be late and I'm sorry. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll do my best. Shit. And then, how about you, Tom? I want to watch Tom. At some point on the weekend. It's normally it's like Sundays, round two. Mm -hmm. um, also, we're doing, um, uh, there's a Dota tournament on Friday. It starts yes. at two, uh, Perian and Lewis are going to be casting it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will be playing on a team at Ooh. five on Friday. Cool. So if you like that, come and see yeah. that. Yeah. On this channel will be the commentary, and I guess are you going to do your team on your channel? We'll see how you feel. We'll see. Maybe. See what's going on. Um, but yeah, that's all we going on. Hope you guys had a great time. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. We'll see you soon. Goodbye. Bye.